So scared, act like I'm under your bed. Really, I'm under your covers. Maybe we two different lovers. Maybe we one in the same. Maybe I'm running some game. What if I fuck with my ex? What if we start having sex again? You finna go through my texts again. Ain't trying to clean up the mess again. Act like you wanna be my rig. Ain't no more room in the fridge. You know my heart cold as it is. I'd like to welcome you to the Motherfucking World Days podcast. Andy. Well. What's up, Taz? Taz, you might be our most freaking guest to come on the show ever. Is, so that, you, is that a fact? Child, I I think, so you've been on here at least, what, five, so, six times? Yeah. Damn. Not, yeah. not just by yourself, but like just yeah. in general. Like You've yeah. been in here with Suiza a few times. Yeah. Um, you can pull it up with uh, Jocene and... Yeah, facts. I think even uh, John, no, no, I don't think you were here with John, John, but I think maybe you came in when he, it was like a week he came and you came right at. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's been a lot of uh, that you're trying, so uh, the people know your face. I don't think there's no real formal introduction that is necessary yeah. or needed. So how you been living? You've been in Atlanta. Yeah, I've been, um, I've been in Atlanta. I've been in Maryland. I've been in New York. I've been in Boston. In Boston? What's, what, what, what takes you to Boston? Um, it was a, a few things going on in Boston. Um, one was a sneaker convention. Okay, um, how was that? It was straight. Um, you know, I've been moving around with um, with Jocene. You know, you got the sneaker. The sneaker, the sneaker uh, show. show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Shout out one time. Yeah, helping him out with some footage and stuff. Um, we went out there for something else, too. Oh, no, no, no. The same day we had went to New York because um, there was CultureCon. Okay. That's what we were supposed to go to, but um, by the time we bought the tickets to go to New York before we bought the tickets to CultureCon, so <laughs> by the time we went to buy tickets for CultureCon, they were sold, sold out. out. Yeah. But we still went out there, ended up shooting some content for the fucking hats, and um, I think, yeah. well, I think like, we might as well, because that's what, I don't think, I don't know that's why you're here, I don't want to put words in your mouth and say that's why you're here. Yeah. But I mean, I think that's a, I think that's a pretty... It's a pretty big deal, like. Yeah, man. Yes or no? You, I mean, I know you, Mister Modest, and on and whatnot, but pretty big, pretty big deal. The fuck it had. Yeah, I think um, you know, it's a, uh, it's just, it's a hit single. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, I think the fuck it had is definitely a hit single. Um, it's been getting the same response from when I wear it, from when other people wear it. You know. So what made you? Cause you've been in. Uh, you brought the fucking hat here before. I yeah. think you brought the prototype. Yeah, or, I, did. I sure did. Maybe yeah. it was a year and a half ago at this point. It was yeah. a, what a little yeah, Mook, that, Mook had it. Had yeah, that you put it on. Mook, took a couple pictures of me. Mook put gym. it on. Um, what was the inspiration? Cause you didn't even give us too much. You were just like, hey, you know, this is my new thing, and that was kind of it was. You were like, wait, you'll see more. Yeah. So what was kind of the inspiration that you, I think now you, you, you can tell us now, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, so at during this time, um, I was thinking about um, what Pierre Moss was doing. Um, I did a lot of modeling with them. Um, you know, I had a relationship with their head designer slash founder. Um, so I was really inspired by their women's wear and how often they used um, pleats. Um, they were utilizing them more so, you know, with gowns or like, you know, tops. And the pleat is decreasing your hat, correct? Yeah, yeah, that's called a pleat. So they had it on all these tops and bottoms, but they hadn't incorporated it in, um, in an accessory, nor did they have um, an accessory that was like a, like a staple to their brand. So I, the idea came to me, I mocked it up, and I had sent it to Kirby, the, the founder of Pierre Moss. Um, awesome ghost design shit, honestly. You know, I just, I thought it would go good for his brand. I didn't have anything built yet, um, you know, as, as far as the fashion house was concerned. So I was thinking he could use it. Um, I asked him what he thought. He said it was fire. I got. I don't, I don't think I got my old phone in here, but it's still the screensaver. Um, I screenshot that message um, from like three years ago now. 
Um, where I sent it to him, he said it was fire. Yeah, I sort of tagged me in, but I guess that was a little bit too um, ambiguous. You know what I mean? He didn't necessarily know what I meant by that. He just ended up giving me advice on what I should do next, um, pretty much. Like, you know, take some good pictures, do, do, do all this stuff. So um, I'm, I was at a point where I'm like, okay, fuck it. I got to see how I could get it done. Um, for some years leading up to that, I had been going to some different fashion conventions um, finding like sourcing and manufacturing partners, um, just resources, you know, to see like who had minimums that, you know, will work for me or, you know, what shipping time was and like all of that stuff. Finally, you know, went through a few people. The first manufacturer I had that made the samples that I showed y'all is not the manufacturer that I'm working with right now. Um, you know, they, they, they told me they had a certain minimum. And then, you know, they switched up on me afterwards. You know, they they, they little bro me pretty much. Mm-hmm. We got much bigger clients, you know what I'm saying? That work's not, you know. Mm-hmm. So that happened, found another manufacturer, and here we are today. Um Yeah, man, it's 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 um infectious, you know. I think um it's one of those things that added a new energy, you know. To the scene is something that people haven't seen before. Um, it's a fuck it, not a bucket. Um, I, I think, you know, it's, it's distinct in, in that way. As soon as you see it, you know it's not something that, you know, you're used to seeing. Um, yeah, man, it's all types of people love it. I've been stopped by 40 to 60-year-old white people. Who like, yeah, I love that hat. Oh, my God. It's been little kids. It's been, you know, fashionistas and... A little bit of everybody. The whole thing, yeah. So it, I would be remiss if I didn't ask about the Antonio Brown. <laughs> wow. Okay. How did you first? Because you didn't just have him wear the hat. You guys were you guys were interacting. You were in the spot with him. You, you guys were really, for what it looks like from the layman's eyes, y'all were vibing. Yeah. So um, explain to me maybe how that or what you can how that transpired, right? Oh yeah, or how that relationship came to be. It seems to be some sort of relationship. I don't know. How yeah. would you explain to that? Okay, so to I, me? You know, I, I, I seen this perfect setup when I came in here. Y'all was watching football. Yeah. I hadn't watched football in many, many years. Okay. Like, I've been so tapped out of football. I don't know what's going on, who's winning, who won the last championship, nothing. Mm-hmm. So, it's just funny that now, you know, I have a relationship with A.B., mm-hmm. right? Um, back to Jocene in the sneaker convention. Mm-hmm. Um, not the one that we went to in Boston, but the first one we did was in New York. Um Went to the sneaker convention in New York. Same thing, you know. Um, he needed my help with shooting some stuff. Um, you know, I'm a hustle anytime I go anywhere. So I'm like, it's an opportunity for me. I can promote the fucking hats, whatever. Let's go. Went to, really it was West New York, which is in New Jersey. But, yeah, you know, they they, they market it as New York because it's going to get a bigger grab. But went to New Jersey, um, went to the sneaker convention, getting this footage. And all of a sudden... Well, okay, no, we knew AB was gonna be there, okay. but you know that was just it was like, yeah, AB gonna be there. I'm like, okay, um, you know, damn, that'd be dope, you know. See if we can get him a hat, do do do, whatever. So we get in there. Um, Jocene sees him performing. He's like, I think that's AB performing now. So I'm like, okay, you know, we get make make our way closer to the stage. Um, long story short, I end up getting him a hat. Um. Once I got him a hat, though, he had exited the building, um, or what looked like he exited the building. You know, me and y'all see him just celebrating at this point, like, yo, AB got a hat, bro, like, go outside, like, just, like, lit. Um, But I didn't get him my information, right? So then I'm like, damn, okay. I tried to get to his, um, his, uh, some of the security that was working with them, get him a car with my information on it, Baba, so he can get in contact with me. Um, Did that. He said he got it to him, whatever. Um, when I came back into the event, after we finished, like, having our hurrah, um, everybody was like, 
you got on the hat. The hat that AB's wearing. And I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, yeah, he, he wouldn't take the hat off. He put on the hat, and he just like, he, he came back in, he shot with everybody, he had the hat on, and I'm like, what? People showed me videos, and I'm like, damn, like, he, he fucked with the hat. I started seeing um, people posting, like, repostings from different people with AB and the hat on. I'm like, damn, like, he really do fuck with it. It was like, he kept telling people, it's not a bucket, it's a fuck it. And I'm like, what is going on? So Catchy slogan for sure. Yeah, yeah, man. Um, so then, that's something you remember. Definitely something to remember. I think I think that adds a, another layer of excitement to it when people mm-hmm. find out it's called the fucking hat. For sure. You know, everybody smiles. But um, and 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 even that, and me coming to that, coming to terms with that name was in that moment of me trying to pitch it to mm-hmm. them, and they like, nah. Then I'm like, fuck it. I guess I gotta. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. so okay, boom. You know, I leave. We go back home. Can't believe it. So hype. Like, AB, you wore the hat. Blue. So I'm like, damn. I got to get in contact with him though. Um, I do a. It's around the time. Put that shit on. You know, this is like to run, like the beginning of when mm-hmm. it's starting to bubble up. Um, so I'm like, okay, if I put the I'm gonna put the same I have the same fit on that I had on when I seen him and I'm gonna do the challenge because he's reposting everybody. So he'll repost me, recognize me, and then maybe I can get through to him then. Ooh. So I did that, he reposted me, um, did not get through to him then. <laughs> but I stayed on his story and I was pretty much like just like seeing all the people he reposted, seeing like what he got going on. So he reposted one where he was in a studio, in a music studio, and the guy who he was in the studio with, oh, he was in the studio with the fucking hat on. Mm-hmm. Let me, okay, he was in the studio with the fucking hat on, and the guy who he was with um, was his homie, I guess. I hit him up. And I'm like, yo, um, I just met AB. You know what I'm saying? He got a hat. He said he fucked with him. I'm trying to see if he, you know, will we work out, see if he wants some more, blah, blah. And he's like, all right, I'll hit him. He really hit him. Ooh. Really got back to me, you know. He was like, "Yeah, um, AB said he fucking with all of them. Where you at?" And I was like, "I'm in Maryland, but I mean, you know, what's going on? I, you know, I could get there." He like, "Yeah," he said, "Pop out, like now, right? Like tonight." I'm like, "Tonight? I just got back to Maryland. <laughs> I literally just got back." Pop out where though? In New York. In New York. Oh, okay. I just came from New York. You better, you better, I literally I hadn't been home for an hour, bro. Well, you better get your ass on somewhere. You better get your ass on the road bro, somehow. Got right back. Went right back to New York, right? Still super, super cryptic though. Like pop out. And my boy. I don't know where I'm going. Where? I don't got AB's number. <laughs> I just got a bunch of fucking hats. Yeah, I just got a bunch of hats. I'm like, all right, boom. I pop back out. I pop out. I hit him up like, yo. This is what champions are made of. This is what champions are made of. You got to be able to seize the moment, right? Mm -hmm. I get to New York, man. I'm at uh, Port Authority. I got my boy from the Bronx to come like pick me up just in case I had to go somewhere far. I don't know where I got to go. I get there. I'm like, yo, I'm here. I'm still talking to his homie. Um, shout out to Guap, by the way, because, you know, with, without him, the relationship might not have cultivated as quickly, you know. Um, I get there. He's like, all right, say less. Look it up. And I'm like, what? What is this nigga talking about? AB is off some shit. This, and, and I'm like, say less. Look it up. Nigga, what? So then I... I'm like, so maybe, maybe something I'm missing, right? So I actually look up Say Less, and it's a restaurant, mm. yeah. which makes a lot more sense, right? Yes, yeah. much more sense. So, so I'm like, all right, boom. It's like eight minutes from where I am. Perfect. I'm like, yeah, let's get it. All right, let's go. We head over there. Um, I get outside this restaurant, Say Less. I go to the door. They're like, you have a reservation? I'm like, No. Um, I'm here to see AB. It was like, oh, follow me. Open the doors. It's like regular restaurant up top. Then you can go down some steps to like some private room. Go down to this private room. Um, 
You know, they in there just vibing, smoking in a restaurant, you know what I'm saying? Like eating, chilling. But AB's not in there. It's the connection that got me to him and then some other guy. Um, AB ends up coming down moments later. Uh, like, yo, I'm happy you came, you know what I'm saying? Dab me up, woo woo. What's going on with the hats, you know? Show him the hats, he in there just chilling, playing his music, trying on hats, everybody fucking with it, whatever. So, boom. In the restaurant? In the restaurant, but it's like a private room. Okay. It's like a private room downstairs. We got a TV who's watching uh, the tennis game with Naomi Osaka and somebody. I think she lost that night. Um, yeah, that was going on. Real Godfellas type vibes. Type vibes. And, um, you know, whatever. We hit it off. Everything Everything worked out good. Um, in the midst, he had these shades on. He had been wearing them, like, you know, from yeah. throughout the week. He had them on at the dinner, and I was like, Yo, can I try them on? Because I just wanted to, you know, I, I've been seeing them. I'm like, I wonder how they fit with every woo. So then he let me try them on, and he was like, you can have them, bro. So these are, a- you B- asked why AB, these are the glasses yeah, from AB that he gave me. Off his face. Off his face. Yeah. And, I, and I've been, it's, it's kind of. No, not too many podcasts bring you these type of things. No, yeah, and it's, it's one of the things where it's like, you know, with the homies, I kind of been like going on a tour. I want everybody to try more. Wow. Yeah, because it's one of the things Charles where it's like, love this. they never drop. They never drop, you know what I'm saying? Still to this day, you know, all the shit Ye got going on, all this controversy Ye got going on. You know I love a good controversy, you yeah. know? And so, show and tell. You feel me? So, yeah, it's been, it's been one of them things, you know, maybe we gotta do, get some thumbnails with y'all in them or something like Listen, that. Listen, we can do it, you know, get a little fucking hat action as well, you know, yeah. you have some fun with this. <laughs> have some fun with this. I got my Yeezys on randomly, like, Literally. wow. Yeah. Wow, good man. Um, yeah, so, boom, that happened. You feel me? Who's sexy? Well, he ain't drunk. Super, well, see, I just don't know what's going on with, with Kanye and um and Gap right now, you know? Yeah. And yeah, you can see, I think my only critique it's is like, that, It's like um, a phone case, like a, like a black screen. screen. Yeah. Privacy screen. Privacy screen, yeah. Yeah. My only critique is that um I wish they pushed far, further off your face. Yeah, they're really close your, to your face. Yeah, your, eyelash, your eyelashes and stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's the only critique I got. Like, I don't even think they actually fit quite nicely. I just, like you said, a little bit more round space. That's cool. These are hard. Yeah. I like these. Ooh. Make sure you know. Make sure they get me on the camera. What's up? Yeah. yeah. All right, cool. You, you want to try them on? Sure, why not? <laughs> but yeah, so, um, you know, in the midst of all this, um, you know, I tell AB, I make music, he playing music. Um, you know, we talk about that for a bit. Tell me you want to get in the studio. Oh, okay. Yeah, man. Futuristic. Every time. Trying to go super hard with the hat. Every time it does look hard with the hat. That is a hat, right? Super That's futuristic. Cool. Okay, I didn't cool, realize because cool, the, cool, the top cool. makes it look like it's like an actual. Yeah. So I didn't want to be disrespectful. Cool. For different reasons. This is a West African gym. Oh, okay. That's hard. That's, That's right. where I could. <laughs> for my birthday when we was in uh, Arizona, mm-hmm. the real drunk nigga, and when he kept coming by, like, he randomly gave me a shot and he was like, do you know him? And he, I was like, no, I don't. But he was like, you because you, you got on the hat from West Africa. That's the hat of my people. That's the hat of our people. And then, like, he, I just had a cup in my hand and then, like he toasted my cup with his big ass bottle and then poured a bunch of fucking champagne. Mm, how and, nice. You made a friend. And a whiskey and ginger. And I was like, brother, this is crazy. You made a friend because of your because of your hat. How nice. It's um, a Koofy, Charles. Come on now. I mean, Koofy, fuck. Oh, Jesus. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm disrespectful. I didn't mean to be disrespectful. Uh, <laughs> wow. So you had a, you had a, what? Oh. You had a very interesting, you know, go around with this hat. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. So just to close that out, you know, he um very casual, man. AB is much more casual than, you know, one could probably imagine for somebody of that celebrity. Um, you know, he was like, take my number. And then, like, literally, we talk, like, we talk. Like, literally. Yeah. Just be talking. yeah. He, he, he says more voice memos than he types. I respect that. You um, ain't going to screenshot, uh, screenshot him. Right, right, right. Right, exactly. Probably, it's probably that. He just, it's very, you know, just very to the point, man. But um, it's, it's definitely been a very 
interesting um, relationship, to say the least. You know, definitely not one that I expected um, in 2022. Okay. Um, it was, oh, you and these mushrooms. Mm-hmm. You've, you've talked a little bit about them before. I got something for you. Oh, but, but hold on, before we get there, let me just, since we on the topic, still fuck ass. Okay. <laughs> While I was in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Oh, These two. that's what I got to say. BT Hip Hop Awards. Oh, you want me to talk about that too? That was in Atlanta, right? Yeah. So tell me about what oh. you about to tell me and then do the BT Hip Hop Awards. This is in that time. Okay. So when Perfect. I went to, okay, I went, to do, I went to do the BT Awards, BT Hip Hop Awards, um, which is this my second year doing it. Um, last year I had Thug and Gunner. Um, talent escort. Mm, Law. Congratulations, this, bro. This, thank you. This year I had um, uh, Blue. Mm. Your mind still. Um, but Boosie. while I was down there, Boosie artist. Boosie's artist. Yep. I went to the gas station and my car broke down. While my car is broken down, Key Glock pulls up to the gas station. I, I can't make this up. That's vicious. Key Glock pulls up to the gas station while my car is broken down. And I'm like, I'm looking around for fucking hats, right? <laughs> looking around. I'm thinking, I'm like, I know they love blue. Him and Dolph both love blue. I'm like, okay, I got a blue. So I go up, but I go with caution because, you know, the times mm-hmm. we in, I got an all black. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, what just happened to Dolph, unfortunately, you know, you got to be cautious. So I'm like, yo, I'm like, I'm, uh, I, it's a security. I'm like, I'm like, can I talk to. Uh, can I talk to Glock? You know, I just want to give him something. Can I talk to Glock? He's like, yeah, come over here. And I'm like, he's like, what's going on? I'm like, yeah, I'm a designer. You know, um, it's one of my new products. Just want to see if you fuck with it. If you fuck with it, you know what I'm saying? Whoopie whoop. He's like, yeah, wait till it come out. He came out. He fucked with it. You know what I'm saying? He was very chill, very casual. It confirmed it. He had the Glizzock chain on him. Like, it's definitely him. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, we sat out there talking for a little bit. And then he went on about his way. That's all right. The fuck the hell is making this rounds? Yeah, man. Yeah. What is it like pitching these people? Um, I, I mean, honestly, it's like this. I'm like, first, I'm just like, do you like it, man? If you don't, don't waste my hat. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm not. If you don't, if you don't fuck with it, why would I give it to you? Mm-hmm. Seriously, I want you to. Do, what you gonna do? Keep it in your closet. Yeah. If you right. if you don't fuck with it, then so that's the first thing. Mm-hmm. You like this joint, you know? They do, then boom. You know, we talk from there. Hip hop awards. Hip hop awards. Um, a lot goes on at these hip hop awards. Um, I know y'all know um, Siobhan. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, I, I see her all the time. You know, she's she's some top position up there. Yeah. 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 I don't know what on the She had on the pod. Okay, yeah, yeah, she she been told she's an event sort of planner, coordinator. coordinator. Okay, um, yeah. She's like like you said, like one of the head people mm-hmm. at uh. I want to say either Viacom or whatever company mm-hmm. in which they do those events. But like, yeah, BET, I see MTV. Her, I see her every time we smile. You know, it's always like a very um, chaotic, you know oh, what I'm saying, yeah. oh, scene. Yeah, for sure. Everybody's moving around, so it's like real quick. But like, yeah, I always love seeing her. It makes you feel like, you know, we got people in here regardless. Mm-hmm. You know I, mean? I like that. I like that. Um, but yeah, see. BET Hip Hop Awards, they do, um, it's not a live show. It's yeah, tape. Yeah. So yeah, we do it like two days before. Um... Yeah, man, they do rehear- We do rehearsals the day before the actual thing is taped. Um, then it airs like two, three days after that. Um, yeah, you see everybody, man. I mean, everybody who's there, I see them for the most part. Is there a person who that you are in particular in the two years you've done that you've been like, wow, I'm really impressed or like I was really happy to see them? Impressed with maybe their performance, whatever, their swag, and Performance, I think last year, um, Lotto, yeah, she put on an excellent performance. Even in her rehearsal, she had her bonnet on and everything. Like, she rocked so that good. motherfucker, yeah. Lotto went crazy that first year. Um, this year, uh, I spent a little bit of time talking to Armani White, mm-hmm. um, the Billy okay. Eilish. Bank, 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 team, start Billy. I mm-hmm. like that guy, yeah. I spent a little bit of time talking to him. Um, he did a good job as well. His performance was nice. Um... Trying to think that anybody shocked me like I see anybody that shocked me. Mm, no, oh, Glorilla 
Taylor's performance was also like, yeah, really, really impactful. Um, mm-hmm. I, what I recognize where her performance was like, she, she's, don't quote me. I, honestly, I still haven't seen the whole entire w- rewards. Mm-hmm. Um, and when I'm there, I'm not. My vision is not that of when you watch it on TV. You know, mm-hmm. I was on the stage when Gorilla was coming from the back. But I thought that was dope that she came from the back, not from the stage, and then mm-hmm. like you know really engaged the crowd. And that's like the song of the year. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you know, seeing Yo Gotti up front singing it and shit, like yeah, it was that was a that was a real good moment. The energy was real good. Um, I seen uh, Ice Spice. I didn't see her <laughs> perform, but I did see her. Yeah, she yeah, was yeah, standing beside me for quite some time. I was with me? Yeah, yeah. I know, yeah, much. Um, yeah, man. Who you feeling? Like? She straight. She's just straight. Curious. She's straight, man. Her outfit was cool. So speaking of outfits being cool, can you stand up one time if you don't mind? Yeah. So we gotta talk about this fit one right. time. Like you I can't come like in here, mentor. like you know, in the Abrahamic times, and not and not tell me about this. So talk to me one time. What we got going on? That look like it's your level. This is um, this is as comfortable and as simplified as it can get. You know, for me, um, I actually, yeah, I'm not going to say what I'm thinking about doing with any of these things right now, but I love this. <laughs> I love this. Yeah, I really do. Um, one of my favorite pieces right now, if I had nothing, if I had to give away all my clothes and keep one thing, I'd keep this. Is this, does this name have, does this have a particular name? Is this a? Mm-mm. Okay. Just perfect. Yeah. Just perfect. It definitely yeah. looks like it's your level, though. It's perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Can I ask you where you got it from? I thrifted it. Ah, I like that. Yeah. Where did you thrift it? What state? Uh, that's hard. You can't tell me the state? No, no, not that I wouldn't tell you. you can't I can't remember. remember. Yeah, yeah, That's even harder. Yeah, yeah. I like that. I thrifted across across the states at this point, man, from the I West Coast to the East Coast. Oh, so this isn't a new, this is something that you've... Old piece. Actually, it was tan when I got it. I dyed it black. Oh. Um, yeah, I was wearing it tan for a while. I dyed it black, and now this is like, yeah, my favorite thing. So, what was the process behind it needs to be black? Um, I dyed it during my album, the day of my album release. Um, I had an album release event. I'm glad you said that because we did, we need to talk about that. Yeah, I had an album release event in uh, Atlanta. Yeah, and you know, I was thinking about what I was gonna wear to it, and I was like, damn, this would be perfect if it was black. And I was like, we'll make it black. <laughs> Just make it that's black, a, that's bro. That's an easy fix. Just made it black. How long did it take you to do that? A uh, few hours, you know, and then I had to let it dry overnight, you know. How many times did you you had to like dip it? Just once, but it's it's really like how long you keep it in there. Is how long? Yeah, how long it, you know? Well, you did a good job. Like sure, I would not sure. have known this was tan, tan before. Yeah. So you, you like did, even the stitching is black. You did a yeah. damn good job. I'm about to say you don't have your forces on. You got your Air Maxes, so and, you're and not it, you're not out for war. And I am Air Max ninety over Air Force Ones. Yeah, I just I can tell you're not out for war. That's, I that's commit, you're, trying I to, you're, you're, make, that. you're making a statement. I yeah. want you to know that, and I appreciate that statement. Some of the most comfortable shoes I've I've had in my life, actually. And Gucci Air Max ninety. No boy Maxes. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Air Max nineties. Um, you got narrow feet. Yeah, I can't fuck with the nineties. No, do I got narrow feet? I got. The nineties ain't. Comfortable. No, I guess my shit kind of wide, bro. They comfortable for me. What you got? Shit, kind of wide over there. Nah, my shit's wide, bro. <laughs> you got, but you probably got to bust them in. Like you know, some shoes be just super tight. I don't know what you do with your laces. I pull my shits all the way out, redo them. You know, it's but the same bag. I yeah. just have to do the nineties. Person. Try them out, man. You never know. I got a couple pair. Oh, okay. I'm telling you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Not my bad. Okay. So, so let's, let's let's talk about the album. You put the album on your website. Only could exclusively get it through your website. You had the album release party in Atlanta. Um, take us through this because this was something that I think we were expecting. A lot of people were expecting. You kind of. I'm not going to say you hit it, but you kind of, you were like, yeah, come find it. You controlled your release. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I'm trying to make music art again. Um, so, this album, Make It Art Again, I think that is what I heard you say. Oh, uh, yeah, I said I want to make music art again. Mm-hmm. So, you got to, you can't make a statement like that and not elaborate. Okay, we got, I got you. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, okay, man, the streaming services 
hold us out. You know, we became whores. Percentages wise. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I wasn't even talking. Percentages makes it worse. It's okay. like we're slaves. Oh, mm. The playlist. All that. Yeah, man. But we we got whored out in a way where you're taking something that you know we as artists. You know, everybody's different. I'm just to speak for myself. You know, I take time to cultivate this experience, right? Mm-hmm. You know, as there's time that I have to live in order to. Make this, make make this, this. music just mm-hmm. because it's you know, y'all know me it's reality rap. Mm-hmm. So and then the artwork there's that, that part. Then I gotta write it. Then I gotta record it, right? And then I gotta not like it. Then redo it. And then I gotta. Well, we know this. You know. And then you know you think about the visual aspect. You know you gotta gotta name the songs. Mm-hmm. Gotta think about the art direction. All of this stuff. And then it's ninety nine cent on streaming. If that. Or it's free. Right? Mm -hmm. And then you got music that came out last year that people like, oh yeah, that came out last year. Like, you know, like like you do it like, whatever. Like, but then you go to the museum and we view paintings from 200 years ago. Make music art again. What's going on? They made the artists more like the athlete. The recording art is more like the athlete than they are the painter. Mm. And it's confusing to me. And that's been my take, but, you know, now I just, it's, there's nothing I can do but take matters into my own hands, pretty much. So that's so that was the reason for that. Yeah, so well, I debuted the album as an art piece mm. at the gallery. Yeah, the art gallery. Yeah. yeah, so where people would walk into this gallery space where they're expecting to see visual art, uh, paintings, sculptures, things of that sort. It's a pedestal with a Walkman CD player on it with my album in it. For the first two weeks when the gallery opened, you could only hear my album at the, at the gallery mm-hmm. in Atlanta for those two weeks. That's the only place people experienced it. And people were listening, listening to it and really resonating with it in that space and then even feeling better that they got to have that experience. That's right. You could hit the QR code on the on the um the description, take you to the site. If you want to buy it, you can buy it. You can hit, you know, continue to hear the music. Some people came back and listened to it some more. You know, like it was that type of vibe. Um, it was children there that that came in who had never seen a Walkman ever before in their life. So they got to learn that experience, that 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 That's physical hard. experience like that. of mm-hmm. even having what to do that. Physical music was what it was. So, you know, there was that. Um, I also had the fucking hats in that same show, which that was the debut of those as well. Didn't you help curate this art show? I did. Okay. I did, um, along with Mark Hedrick. Okay. Um, fine art, classical painter in Atlanta. One of the best, in my opinion. Um, yeah, yeah. Crazy, phenomenal art. Um, but yeah, I had the fuck ass in there. That was the first time people seen the fuck ass. Um, and then I also had a fine art piece up there, um, a print. So pretty much it was the first time my worlds were able to collide, collide perfectly and coexist perfectly though. Like I got to express each side of my, my yeah. core creative, you know what I mean? Your brain. Yeah. My, my, my core creative, like avenues, music, fashion, and fine art at once. Um, and yeah, so I, I'm, I'm proud of that. Um, and yeah, my album's been on the website ever since. Um, yeah, it's been, it's been, you know, I've have, I had a lot of deep conversations about it. Um, a lot of people have been really moved by it. I think it's one of the most important albums um, for us. That's, I'm just going to say that. I'm going to just say that. I'm going to just say us. It's one of the most important albums for us. When you say us, who is us? I don't know, man. You know, and this is what I mean by I don't know. Because let's say this, right? Let's say I said, let's just say I said black people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's not for every black person. <laughs> Okay. You know what I'm saying? Let's say I said it's for for my nigga. People from Maryland or some shit. You know what I mean? It's not for everybody it's from Maryland. Okay. And so when I say us, I don't know who with me. Okay. 
So are you are you talking about more so like a collective of people that you think are like not they but us. Not your fans per se, but people who you just feel are whatever on some sort of journey with you. Um, yeah, I think it's for the I think it's for the Because you do understand how that could sound a bit cultish. No, tell me. Well, if you like I'm only riding with the people who are riding with me. And as an artist, it's like, all right, you put out something for consumption. So maybe I like maybe I like track two, three, four, but I don't like track six. Mm-hmm. So now can I not be part of this experience? You know, like can I not no. be a part of us? No, no, no. It's not even about it's not even about aesthetically or sonically if you like okay. if you like the music. Oh, so, it's, so I'm talking context. Oh, okay, it's content and like message. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got you. Context. I'm talking yeah. I thought that's where he was going. Yeah, about yeah. his us just been like Whoever his us is, yeah, you know what I'm like whoever it, is vibing. It's just us. it's just been so hard to define that, you know. And for anybody, you know, it's like we make these blanketed statements. Yeah, I'm but black. But it's I'm always this. somebody who you include it because that blanketing st- statement describes them, mm-hmm. but they do not <laughs> fit in that. Yeah. They don't. So I'm just being very wary of that and trying to be more specific about who I'm talking to. But you don't think like in a full body of work that. You have you you like you're a well rounded person. You just gotta I look look look. This was the album that I had to make. This is the only album that I had to make so far. Mm. Well, this is my. It's technically my second album, but I mean, I, you've made bodies of bodies work. of work. Yeah, mm. but but it's I consider it my debut album because it's the first one that was even accessible digitally. Because even the album that I would have considered my first album before this was on CDs. That's it. Um, but I think this album, in the same way that Virgil had Pyrex and then Off-White, mm. and a lot of the early symbolism that you've seen in Pyrex evolved into what was Off-White, that's what 725 is my Pyrex and if we don't sit together, we fucked. Is my off white, mm-hmm. you know, in the that, evolution of it. Yeah, that's like the the refined idea. It's it's my miseducation by Lauryn Hill. Okay, so you you would say this is the thing that if people want to tap into you as a recording artist, they need to. No, because hmm. I'm not about to keep talking about that. I had to get that off my heart. That's it. It's not. It's not like. Oh, this is the type of artist, artist I am. I am. No. I get it. I, I, okay, see, I'm glad you said it because now I get exactly what you mean. When you say I had to make this album. Had to. It makes sense. So, so are you so with that being said, you're happy with everything that has come from it? Oh yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh. Guess what? What? It still hasn't been released to the public. That's a fact. That's my point. It still hasn't been released to the public. The 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 response I got from the album was incredible. And it still hasn't been released to the public. For the first time, I recouped the money that I put into making the album with this one. And it hasn't been released to the and public. And it hasn't been released to the public. So make music art again. And you haven't really made, and you haven't really pushed it like you did your other projects either. Make music art again. Because you made it. That's a, simple. You made it an art installation. I understand what you're saying, but I also feel Charles. It's not that simple. Did you? Uh, did you say that? No, I didn't say that. I, I just, I'm just wondering, like. Oh, I thought you just said. No, no, no. no. I just wonder, like, yo. If you had to make this for yourself, and and that's that's the point I just wanted to get at that, like you like you said, like this is not about your artistry or anything. This is for you. This is for humanity, bro. You know what I'm mean? saying? Like, if we don't stick together, we fuck. Is the title of the album? I'm I'm sure. Like I'm I'm um I'm very sure to how I've I've seen the things you put out there. So I'm I'm not. So I have a question. What promotion do I have to do? I have a question. I don't think you mean. If to do. we don't stick together, we fucked. I'm telling you the urgency right there. So I have a question. This is a two-part question. One, how do you feel about music now after you've recorded this album and, like, you've done something that most independent or signed artists haven't done, which is, like, recoup something, (laughs) recoup the budget and profit it? And secondly, do you see that you can do what you did for your album for other people's albums? 
Um, one okay. How I feel about music now? Um, you know, it's always um a wide array of choices, right? Mm-hmm. So it's always excellent, great music and stuff that I hear. That I like. I heard um. What's I mean this? about making music? Not like music as a whole. How do you feel about making music? Oh, now? like me personally? Yeah. Um. No, I feel free, bro. Like I got that off. I could not make nothing else until I made that. That's what was crazy. It was like I couldn't, I literally could not make anything else. So that's why you was half truth taste for so long. No, what does that mean? You, I still don't understand that one. Okay. I still don't understand that half the half truth thing. Because you didn't lie to us? I didn't lie to y'all still to this day. You're, you're dying on that hill, but okay. It's crazy. <laughs> that's all right. No, you know, still man. to this day. Continue. Never late. Uh, what do you say? Never late. Profound. But but you say, uh, how making music. Yeah, I feel free now, bro. That was a weight on me, bro. I had to get that out. I feel so good when I got it out. I cried so many times listening to it, writing it. Uh, I cried at the release. Uh, other people cried. Some people telling me that it's like literally like the best thing they heard. Like, oh my God, I never heard rap that made me feel like this. Um, I haven't heard something like this so refreshing in so long. Oh my God, this is better than I haven't heard some crazy stuff, you know. So, yeah, man, and I'm yeah. I I only want to know how stuff genuinely makes you feel. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to sell you nothing. You love the hat, you get a hat. You love the music, you know what I'm saying? You resonate with the music, you learn something from the music, and you keep indulging in the music. That's it, bro. But you asked me a second question, Mook. And my second question was, do you see, do you think that you can do what you did with this album if we don't stick together, we're fucked with other people's music? Like, do you think that, not making it an art installation, but do you think that- Making it art again. Making it art again with other people's music? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, that's just, it's just, it's just in the curation, man. How you put it together, for sure. I mean, you specifically, like, is that, do you think, like, that's a lane for you, something you can do? Oh, um, I don't think it's something that I'm necessarily trying to do when it makes sense. Um, I wouldn't even say trying to do. Like, I don't think it's a goal for you at all from how not, you yeah. spoke about it. But I'm just saying, do you think there's something you could see yourself doing? Because somebody, like, the way somebody, somebody might watch this, mm-hmm. see how passionately you spoke about it. And then the success that you had from it. And then they might be like, hey, bro, like, can you do that with, can you help me out with my next album release? I give game for sure. Okay. I never I never hold back information, man, when I can help somebody. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely give you game. Um, yeah, I, I definitely give game, you know. Maybe connecting to some people in my network, um, you know, who could lead them in the, in, the, in the same direction or, you know, the right direction or just add to their vertical integration. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, with that being said, is this how you're making all your mu- music moving forward as far as uh, not the actual production and release, but like, hey, I'm keeping this for my group of people who are with me? Or is it, hey, I'll go back to getting on these platforms? Hey, Johnny John, we went crazy with this one. Johnny John <laughs> produced the whole entire album. <laughs> The whole entire album, man, and we made a classic. It's an, it's insane. I don't even understand. Like, it's crazy, bro. I'm glad we got that one out, bro. Um, and I actually just went to see him the other day. Um, congrats, Johnny John, John, on the engagement. Yeah. Um, yes, congratulations, man. Shout producer. out to Ray. Shout out to Johnny John. Shout out Ray. Shout, shout out to Baby Onyx. Yeah, man. Um, the Mrs. and Mr. I was going to say, oh yeah, yeah. So yeah, we we working, man. Um, me and Johnny John already got several several new songs. Oh, so you're still in the still. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm free now. I you know, that. I thought I got that one out. Yeah, I'm. I'm oh, I'm Ted is going crazy. Okay. Now, yeah, it's different now. I'm, but that's what I mean by being free. Does that mean you're back to putting stuff out there for consumption in that way? Oh right. Or you did you, ask me that. Are you sticking to this path that you have cultivated? Because mm-hmm. you seem really happy with. Mm-hmm. Not, I'm not even talking about like doing art installation, but Just like life. yo, <laughs> yeah, too, truly that. But like, <laughs> not as angry. You were you were giving angry for a little bit, but it's, 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 yeah. angry. it's not, not giving. The last two times you came on, you were. You're not as angry. Very yeah. very much more smiles this time. 
But as far as like, hey, but this is you. this is only on the web. I'm still so, mad about stuff. Of course, no, 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 but sure. you but you're doing a better job of internalizing at least for a public front and face. And, yeah, I, and, just, I, and I, I think I just feel like we haven't gotten there yet in conversation. No, and 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 I think the last time we spoke, true. if we don't sit together, we fuck was not out. That's true. That's, that's true. what I'm that, saying. That was, was a big part of telling. We if we're not saying free me up, bro, I, think I had it was like tension, two, bro. Two months away, something like that. I had tension in my body, bro. I had this shit. I had to say. On that album, so yeah, but um, about other platforms, I think you know, I think there are times where alternative methods make the most sense, right? Um, but there's not that there's no value in other methods, you know. But I just said, this is what works for me right now. You know, maybe there's a, maybe there's a situation where you know, I, I, mm-hmm. yeah, I, I want I want it to be more accessible to to somebody For or my emotional maturity level. Yeah, maybe my maybe my next record <laughs> I, I drop is on streaming again. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And now I'm just selective about what I give the streaming. Yeah, and that's, what that's what I'm saying. To yeah. my core. Yeah. When, when you talking much about the freedom, I was just curious. Like, does yeah. it entail? Not just the artistry, but you know, that's, right. that's why the I business my... acumen might, as well. I might just drop like hits on 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 streaming, like just the the crazy singles, like wild shit on streaming. Do you, you, like your French Montana. Do you plan to drop the album on streaming platforms? I I don't. I have thought about it several times. You know, it, it, I thought about dropping it. You know, it would have already been out. Match another Charles. But. Um, yeah, I always think about it. Um, I'm not planning on it though. Right. Yeah, could happen. Why not? You want the masses to hear it, or you just want the niggas? No, if you want to hear it, you need no. to come here. See, so how how I was gonna do it was I was gonna choose songs from the album and kind of release like a condensed version of it to the public, um, and then save the the full experience on how I curated it for the people who go to my site and get it. Um, I thought about doing it that way. And I still think that's a good idea, but it's a it's a feeling I get in my body before I make decisions, mm. and I ain't get the feeling yet. Okay. Yeah. Right, listen, I like it. Listen, I I appreciate the ownership and the decision making. That's something I do appreciate. You saying, hey, this is I'm taking control of this. I don't like how things from the fucking mm-hmm. hat to the to the album. Good. Um, talking about these damn mushrooms, bro. You you a scavenger? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm a, a mushroom hunter. Mushroom hunter. I don't want to. I don't mean to be disrespectful. Mushroom hunter. Mushroom hunter. Steak yeah. mushrooms. And shit. Yeah, man. So I never. I don't think we ever got to like kind of the. You. I think you explained for sure, but I don't ever think we got to kind of the gist of like why the mushroom. So explain to me. Is it? Is it? Is it? I just know it's a good replacement for me. Is it fair to call it a obsession, or is it call, is it more of a just a lifestyle kind of change? Um, I, I, lifestyle. I think um, I think the line the line is very blurry for me, because in some in some moments or spans of time, I do feel like I'm obsessed. I think I actually even said that today to somebody like. You know, I'm, I'm like, I want, am I, like, am I addicted? I use the word addicted. Okay. Right? Um, but I think I'm just, just fascinated by it. You know what I'm saying? Um, more than anything, it's just a, such a long road to go down. I can't really ever burn it out. Um, and when you ask me how I got into it, one of our last episodes, we were talking about survival. Mm-hmm. Right? Um, and... In survival, you know, you got you think about food, you think about you know. So my entry point to mushrooms was edibility of mushrooms in the wild that I could have direct contact with, no third party. I can get my food for myself. Okay. And then mushrooms being like Mook said, a great substitute for meats, the the primary protein that you know people have in their diet. So I was also thinking about that and how I could influence mm-hmm. people around me to make transitions because it was closer to something that they're familiar with. Same, you should right? so s- with plants, season, season the right mushroom the right way. So then you got some. And, and, and interesting enough, like with mushrooms, 
It's deep because I feel like I got a theory that mushrooms in some way, fungus records the DNA of other living things that probably in some in some way decayed or um um like lost their life literally on the soil. You know what I'm saying? Because beneath that soil is mycelium. I mean, and that's, that's the point of the fungus, though. Like, to decay, like, to yeah, decay yeah, things, it, right? It eats the decaying thing and then turns or whatever it has into nutrient. Exactly. Well, that type of fungus, anyway. Because it has a, it's, there's bad bacteria and good bacteria. And with the, what Tez is talking about, the things in mushrooms is good bacteria. And when, um, when some of them grow, they're fruiting body mimics that of another living thing so you got what they call chicken of the woods Mm -hmm. right how does this mushroom have the texture of chicken Mm -hmm. how does it do you got hen of the woods you got shrimp of the woods Mm -hmm. you got um you got lion's mane which is a lot like crab meat okay you know you got a beef steak polypore which is you cut it and it has the marbling of a steak. Like Wagyu and shit. So it's things that mimic the textures of other things that at some point we're living. So that's just so interesting to me. But um, yeah, I started off in edibility and then um, I just see just how deep it can go. But I'm glad you asked me about that because I did bring some things with me. I was actually, I went to a mushroom fair this morning. Mm. Um, Is it Maryland? Yeah, I saw that. It's afternoon. Uh, Yes, yeah, yeah, it was in Montgomery County. Okay. Um, I went to a mushroom fair. You know, they had some information there. People um, had some mushrooms out on display that they had found and stuff like that. Um, and then they started to do a walk through where it was like discussing different things that we seen on the walk. Not to be racist, but were, were there a lot of Asian people there? No, no, but there were more Asian people than there were brown people. Okay. And yeah, and there was only like three brown people, I should say. Okay. I was yeah, asking, including like, me and my friend. Because I know it's like a big Asian community out there, and they got like a little Asian market out there that one of my coworkers go to. Asian Mart? I'm not sure. Well, Asian Mart is a nice um, Asian yeah, market. Yeah, if they go to, they get their mushrooms and stuff like that. Yeah. Other herbals. Yeah, I definitely think they have a, a, a greater selection than most, um, you know, regular grocery stores. But, um, yeah, so I went to that. You know, we started to do what they call a foray. Um, it's like when you forage with a bunch of people or whatever. But um, so then me and my my friend Wayne, Four, right? that's hilarious. Me and my friend Wayne um decided to just I was like, do you want to just go do this on our own, like just go forage right now? And he's like, yeah. So we went to go forage, and then that's what I got in my bag. So, oh, I also got something in my pocket. But this, okay, I I'm gonna show this one last because I know the condition of it since it's just been in my pocket right now. It's not so good. Um, but. I did bring some things, and this is actually my first time, my first time um, finding this mushroom in the wild. And this is one of the one of the choice edibles, or you know, one of the prize prize catches. Um, choice edibles. Yeah, that's what they that's what they call. Like, it. how you know this shit not gonna kill you, bro? Um, you know, research like any. All right, baby, baby, that's, that's all. No, I, that's all. I'm curious. I'm, I'm like just yeah. making sure, like research, research and experimentation. Um, because you can't just read or hear what you know. That's so, what I'm saying. You like, know, I have to just... touch it out. I put it in my mouth. You know, what I'm saying, see if I feel crazy. <laughs> Spit it out. You know what I mean? No, hold on, hold on. So you really just taking risk out here? Sometimes. Sometimes I'm taking risks, but calculated risks. Tell, right? tell me about the the wildest risk. Yeah, tell me the time you and your mom started tingling. No, you no, was no. like, what the no, fuck? The, the, yeah. the wildest thing. So, so like you just fell down one time. Was just like, hold on. You had to wake up in like twenty seconds. Like, oh, nah, nothing like that. Nothing like that. Okay. Um, you, you, these are mushrooms. Some, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why we say that. So, okay, so growing up, you know, the taboo was stay away from mushrooms. They're poisonous. They'll kill you. Right. Uh-huh. Only one percent of mushrooms. Are deadly. Like, that's not like the bell cat jumps at me. Like, Let me just say that, right? And then you can chew if you if I pick up a mushroom and chew it mm-hmm. from the wild and don't ingest it, but I just chew it and spit it out, nothing will ever happen. I'm good to go. Okay. I can. So when you're chewing for, and I'm not telling people to do this, you know what I'm saying? Do your research, whatever. But if you're chewing it and then you get a taste that's, you know, bitter or something that's like, mm, you know, off-puttish, you know that that's not going to be a good one. 
right? If you chew it and it's, it tastes earthy, it tastes like a mushroom, then you probably can do your thing. But it's a lot more, it's a lot more checks and balances that you can do. You can take spore prints. Um, you examine the, you know, the, 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 if it got gill structures, does it have, um, that's what I'm asking. See, pores, and, you, and, and you answered all that for me. Does it have, um, you know, um, is it, is it a shelf like mushroom? Is it, um, a, a, a puff ball? Is it, you know, in a bolete family? It's a lot of different, you know, checks and balances that you do. Um, seeing how tall it is, what season is it? Because you know that this mushroom don't grow in this season. You know, it's a bunch of that that goes into it as well. But um, yeah, bro, it's definitely not as dangerous as people think it is. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'd be scared for you sometimes, bro. And you know, as long as you, you, you know, as long as you do your due diligence, and you know, you ask people who who know, you know, what's going on, like like with this with this chicken of the woods mushroom. Mm -hmm. I think everybody would fuck with that. You just got to try it. Mm -hmm. If you you cook it just like you would any chicken, you season it, put it in a pan, keep it moist while you're doing it. You know what I'm saying? You're, you're seasoning your butter, your whatever. Mm -hmm. Juan just had it for the first time yesterday or the day before that. He's like, oh, I got the video. I posted it. He's like, yeah, it tastes it. just like chicken, bro. Safety. Safety. But this is chicken of the woods. Okay. Um, and there are... You see, it's orangish. Um, the underside has like a, a yellow... Mm -hmm. Um, surface. That's where the uh, pores are. The pores are where it releases its spores from. The spores are like seeds, mm -hmm. you know. So that's how they populate. Mm -hmm. Um, there are two different species. I call it chicken of the woods. That's the layman's term, but scientific term for this one is late sulfurous. Okay. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It's a mushroom. Chicken of the woods. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's That's another species of this one called um, <laughs> Late Sephora's Cincinnatus, and it has a white underside. Okay. But that's also edible. Um, but yeah, this is Chicken of the Woods. This is one, I'm showing y'all one of the like people in the mushroom world. This is like gold. Hmm. You the, got that today? Yeah. At the spot. Okay. No, not at no, the spot. Oh, I was fortunate. And this this is before I even went to the fair. This was in the morning. I, I went didn't to go, go get this. To a, he didn't go to a soiree, he went to a foray. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I, I, I forged this this morning. Um, but I had I, I peeped this out like a few days ago uh, when I got some of it. Then I came back and got more. Okay. Now where you got that here or yeah in, in Maryland? Uh, yeah. Where? I'm not gonna. Yeah, no. Okay. Yeah. Set out Moco. You. It's, this is thing. This is thing. It's, out here, man. It, yeah, it's one of these things where you know you work hard to find you find these spots, you know. And then I'm just that it's just Chico. Why, why am I just giving that out to somebody for thirty seconds for no reason? Like. Yeah, look, bro, and you had to put no work in. I done spent the year maybe, trying to find this maybe, goddamn maybe mushroom. You're hoping the mushroom come out. Is it is it a lot of places like that out here where you can go and forge these things, or is it like? Um, well, this thing, man, it's a lot of wilderness. It is right. So wherever there are trees, okay, there That's will forge. be mushrooms. Mm -hmm. You know, That's you got what they call my, mycorrhizal mushrooms. Mm -hmm. They grow in association with trees. So you you know, an oak tree will have more of this mushroom than another tree will more than likely in its vicinity. That's what I was about to ask. Then you got saprophytic mushrooms that feed off of the wood, mm -hmm. decaying them, mm -hmm. stuff like that. And then you got ones that come at different stages. Mm -hmm. Some decay mushrooms in the early stage, then it's one that comes in the later stage. Mm -hmm. You know, so just like that, the conditions got to be right. It's about temperatures, about moisture. All of this stuff, and I mean, it's mushrooms that grow in the east and they grow in the west. Humidity. Mushrooms that grow. So who has the best mushrooms? Yeah, I, yeah, I. Probably the well, I know. if you don't know who's had the best ones that you experienced, I say already. northwest maybe. Um, Just off. I mean, yeah, me. probably if it's true. It, yeah, I, I, I think I that. think move right just because the. The climate, the climate, uh, the the climate there all is always pretty like good for mushrooms to grow yeah, from, right. to flourish. It don't so get probably too hot. The humidity level stays the same damn near all year. I think probably, my probably. biggest question is what is the fundamental difference between the mushrooms you have and maybe the psychedelic ones that people right. think so of? Oh, oh well, you know that you got different functions. So mushrooms do many things. You know, you got um, mushrooms that have medicinal properties. Mm -hmm. You got mushrooms that have psilocybin and they have psychedelic properties. Mm -hmm. You got mushrooms that are purely edibility. You know what I'm saying? You're going to get your calories. You're going to get how, your nutrition. And as they're saying, like, when you're 
for foraging, are there certain things that you are maybe picking out or looking for that tell you, hey, this is for this, this is like, because you talk about the pores. So is there anything that makes you realize like, oh, this is a psychedelic one or this is a, or are you not that I, I'll say, entrenched? I, yeah, I'll say um, my focus has not been on, on those. psychedelic mushrooms. Um, no, I'm just saying like when they're in the wild, like, because you're on the wrong, you're like, you get it you wrong. even come across them in the wild? That's what I'm saying. As, or is that something you, you're not privy to? That's, I yeah, that's what I mean. So like, gotcha, gotcha. like you know, I, I... You wouldn't even know if you maybe saw it. Type, type thing. You know what I'm saying? Say if, less. If, if I see Cause that's what I'm saying. I don't know about... Because like, once again, I think when people think of mushrooms and yeah. the people I would hang on, they'd be like, oh, oh this nigga eating psychedelic. So, but those come from oh, a yeah. specific type of... Yeah, yeah. Meat. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. But I don't know if people are putting those. That's why I'm. I'm ran across him, him explaining it. I think is a good point. Not, not with, that I know. I I, I, I can't positively he, identify one. Like the way he just the, the way he just said. I beer. called it a yeah, chicken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, see, uh, chicken of the woods. Mm-hmm. Chicken of the woods. But then he was like the actual like scientific name is like X Y Z. I think that's what I'm talking about. Like that fundamental difference in like what the mushroom does. Yeah, and I and I do appreciate psilocybin. I do, like you know what I'm saying. I, I do. I partake. Um, you know. Um, you know. I, I feel like in some ways it's therapy. Um, but yeah, I haven't got to a place where I'm pushing one of my friends though to to go into that space and really start to try to figure that part out. My focus is strictly edibility uh, and how I can surviving. make it palatable for people who have been on a diet that we've been on for the last 20, 30 years. Mm. Pretty much. That's my focus. I like that. Is that all you're eating these days? I uh, know. Nah. Thought you were. Mm-mm. So you still have like a regular diet of like whatever the fuck. I wouldn't call it regular. regular. Um, it's improved. So, you know from what it was in the past, but it's definitely a mixture. If the let, let's say this, like the more I'm able to access food like this, the less. The less. You. Then that's I consume the other stuff, right? Mm-hmm. And with with this, like chicken wood specifically, or a lot of these mushrooms, um, you can't preserve them, so you gotta eat it. No, you can preserve them. Oh, you say you can't. You can, okay. yeah. yeah. So if I, I you said can. if I uh, vacuum seal these, which I already have, vacuum, freeze them and vacuum seal. Mm-hmm. It can last for up to a year. That's all right. Right. I see the post. That been lost, man. Real what? No, I definitely saw that. I feel, I feel that. Um, I'm, I like it. Um, so you said that uh, you still angry. What you angry about uh, these days, buddy? Uh, that music ain't art, and a few other things too. But y'all gotta bring it up because I, you know, I don't know until I hear it. You know, I'm like, man, yeah, what fuck you that. mean you until you hear? It. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not just like basking in anger. That's why I'm so light. You know what I'm saying? I feel good. <laughs> but when somebody saying. brings something up, I'm like, oh yeah, man, that shit blew me. <laughs> um, you, you're one who cares about the world and this or politics. Is there anything in the political space that oh, is man. pissing you off more I'm than... I'm tapped out, man. Okay. I'm tapped out of the politics, man. It's a shit show. It's a you shit show. In Atlanta. When people trying to get serious, you know what I'm saying? That's another thing, but I'm tapped out of that shit, man. What about... uh? This what, is Hand of the Woods. What made, what made you tap out? Just, just so y'all know. Hand of the Woods. Just saying it was. Oh, looks like hen, as in like male chicken. Yep, that's what they call it. I've never had this one. I've never ate this one yet. Um, I've been looking for it though for okay. a while, so I finally found it today. Um, and yeah, I've had chicken in the woods. I love it. But yeah, politics, bro. It's it's a shit show, man. You said what? What, what yeah, was your final you straw? Up. I got a reason not to. Oh so. man, I don't know if it, it wasn't really one thing, bro. I think it was so many things that I was just like, God damn, man, I'm good. Like good. this is like, and and you know, um, it was just more focused, I think, on like the drama than like real issues and like making it look like things are getting resolved and actually resolving things. Um, and we're going to politics, right? That is, that is, that is politics personified. Yeah, yeah. and I think. Um, you know, what was even more frustrating, I think also, man, just, just censoring, bro. Like, Instagram was making me pay for that shit. Honestly. You know what I mean? Like, I at, took my whole Twitter account. When I was talking about a lot of the stuff I was talking about, man, I was getting censored. Literally. I was getting censored, bro. Shadow banned. They threatened to put, take my account down, all that shit. So, you know, that's fucked up. And easy, it's way, easy way to bank a man. And I want to deal with it. And and honestly, and, and not, but not only that, you know, you know, I'm, I'm realizing that it's a circular, 
it's a circular experience. Like I'm, I'm if I if I if I focus on it, if I get my energy to it, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep delving into it every time anyway. Every time Alexa come in, I have something to say. So they wrapping me up in that, and then with with that, that's blocking me from my purpose and why I'm here. That's whatever that shit show. That's Hollywood. That's whatever they wanted to be. I got control over what I'm doing, and I just need to keep doing that. So, um, yeah, I think, you know, it hurts me to see people still, like, so blinded, you know what I mean? Like, still, like, giving these things so much merit that don't, they're so meritless, you know? And I think that hurt me more than anything, and I think... It's kind of like, I for my mental health, I got to stop. Because it's like, I'm saying things clearly. You know what I mean? I'm giving documentation to people. I'm letting people know what's going on, but they're not receiving it. Happy fall. So you got to do it at your own pace. That's what I understand, man. You, we might be in the same building, but we on different floors. It's your journey. You know? Your no journey is your journey. Um, what about, you laughed when we said we were talking about colorism earlier. So... <laughs> Yeah, that's just funny. That's I don't even like. I don't even like. I don't even like black and white, bro. That's just funny. I don't even. I hate it, bro. You hate black. I hate black and white. Okay. I hate it, bro. Because that's one. That's like. It's just such a big distraction. We've been talking about fucking colors, bro. That mean nothing to character. This whole time. This whole time we've been honing in on something that had nothing to do with people's character. So if you think I'm about to be thirty. And my intellect has evolved past that idea. And for me to pretend that it hasn't, I'm not. You're, you shouldn't be angry. I'm not doing that, bro. It's a distraction, man. People are people, bro. Whether your skin is a color doesn't, doesn't determine what you're going to do in life. It doesn't determine your feelings. It doesn't determine your morals. It doesn't determine so many things, bro. Just that's like... Niggas who wear Nikes, like you know, it's like yeah, niggas is niggas who wear Nikes, is niggas who wear Adidas. It's like what? It's just it's people, bro. One of them people is a piece of shit in the Nikes, and one of them people is a beautiful person in the Nikes, bro. That's all. That's it. That's all. I'm done talking about that part. Oh, now, yeah. if we want to talk about who's a piece of shit, let's do it. And why, and they, why exist. they are? They exist. I'm not getting it. I'm not. I'm saying yeah, okay. Um. <laughs> Says you're an interesting person, man, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Uh, what do you think about the fact that our we're coming out of maybe a post-COVID cycle, and the world is like really opening back up? What do you think of just how people are integrating themselves back into like a fuller society, or I guess the new the new society we live in on post-COVID? How do you want to? Maybe put that into words. I don't really think about, you know, I mean, I still see a lot of masks. Um, I'd be masked though. You know, um, I, it honestly, it didn't really change. How. That's what I'm saying for you. That's what I'm saying. For someone who you've been adamant, like, yo, I'm on my, my shit, like whatever. Yeah. So as you see people coming back mm-hmm. to like, just bro, everyone go, you be out places now, people don't be wearing masks for the most part. Mm-hmm. You know, but people, you know, like you say, you still see a few here and there. Yeah. You know, um, I guess, I guess more so, I just think about what they're going to do the next time somebody tells them to do something. Mm. That's all. Okay. You know, pretty much. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you just look at it like, all right, we've had this kind of social thing happen to us. <laughs> yeah. Now, what, what is the next one? Or what is the next thing that forces us got, to? Got locked down for a year, mm-hmm. closed down several small businesses, a lot of people lost money. Um, you know, a lot of people took loans that they thought weren't recoupable, and they were, you know. Well, the um, PVPs is free, they said, bro. Hey, man. That's what the PVP yeah. boys is out here making noise, A lot man. of people got them emails, man. They, a lot of people got them they emails, man. They said, they said we want it back. No, nah, they said, they they said, said a lot of people got them emails, They said they, they, said they, they forgave them. 85%. Hey, man. And what? that the last 14 that they're probably going to just... Hey, guess what? Guess what? Guess what? guess what? guess what? I love that. I love that we just did that. They said, right? Let me say this. No, hold on. Seriously. They say a lot of shit. And... 
14% know it's some real shit. How will we ever know that they, they do that? How you know they ain't already reached 14% and they hit your ass up? How do you know? Seriously. I mean, they have 14% left. They got 85% of that shit back. That, that's what Charles just said. I know. Regardless, no, these game. numbers, no. regardless, these numbers no, are just facts. numbers that we will never be able to validate. Yeah, so we'll, it's just whether you believe the shit or you don't. And I'm on the side of, I don't believe the shit, I don't know. I respect it. I, I, you know what? I feel as though, I'm not going to lie, in all the times you've come here, I feel like this is the most concrete you've been in all your things. In all your takes. Like, you 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 put them all... Mm-hmm. You're like, all right, boom. That's, I've been quiet this time. It's the mushrooms. You like you you put them all <laughs> you put them all together because you were like you were saying this all the time. Yeah. Like I don't I don't think you realize. That's yeah, why no, I'm no, like, no, all right, I, yeah, I was. I was like, okay, and now you're finally like, all right, boom. This is the end. This is the end result. Like I don't I don't. Sometimes you kept pushing. I was like, yeah, it's like concrete and concise deliveries. But I'm fucking with it. Are you, so this is so this is all part of the more happier test. I don't think I know. I'm not. I mean, I'm not saying like yes. I'm obviously making an attempt to. I want my life to be like bliss, right? But yeah, it's, soft life. We all. But it's it. balanced though. I already understand that. Like, it's gonna be cr- cr- like, bro. What is that? My breath. My, some of my best days. Mm-hmm. The wildest, like worst shit happens too. Mm-hmm. So it's like balance. It's super balanced. I'm just like, yeah, okay. It is. Regardless of I say what. I that to people all the time. Balance. No, that. Oh, but your like, best day is the worst shit ever? Yeah, like I wake up and I'm like, this is the ass of the day. But by the time we get to the end of it, it's, like, it's the best day I've ever shit, had. Yeah, bro. It's just moments, man. Like you it. just got to keep going. I think that's that's the the, the, the thing that I'm um, focused on the most it's is um, to, just man, c- the continuance of my journey, yeah. Um, I love that you're calling it a journey now. What's it going on with you and the ladies, Tess? Because I, I can't forget about the time you talked about that one girl on the track. And I th- feel like you said you broke up with her. Oh, my ex-girlfriend, yeah. Yeah, so no, I'm in a relationship. You, yeah, you were with the same one you was always with last time you were <laughs> Yeah, I believe so, yeah. I believe okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how's, are you... Are you Cause you, cause you've been talking about like I mean, I've heard you say, but I'm not going to do this at 30. Da da. What's what's that? What's that like looking like as far as how you're seeing things progressing for your, your your late this next stage for you? Cause it seems like um, you're definitely some sort of transition or um, stage change. Honestly, that's I you know that just came out. That's something like like God just threw that to me that 30 thing. I, that's not even the way I think about it. Honestly, it's really not. I don't even think about it in that way. Definitely. Um, but it, I, that just came out perfectly. It did. That's why I said. But, that's why I really appreciate it. Yeah, but no. Um, I mean, I, I, I'm just looking to 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 build within my ecosystem, man. Like, just keep like like put emphasis on that. Like, we there's so many opportunities that we have, um, in front of us that might not necessarily be for us, right? But it's still opportunity. Somebody brought it to you. Whether somebody hit you like, yo, I got this position at do do do, or I just came up on this do do do. It's like, oh, I don't need it, but. You know, you might reach out to somebody else in your ecosystem who does, you know, or shout out keys mm-hmm. or, or, or like, you know, it's, it's small things where like, you know, in, in ways where we can cross promote things. You know what I'm saying? We need to be utilizing that if um, if somebody shooting a commercial for, I don't know, you know, a juice or something and that person who's dealing with the juice can have a fucking hat on. Let's do it. I know the person with the... You know what I mean? Like, I love that. Pretty much just... Helping each other. Try, yeah, at, at, at the highest. Because all the people that's up there, you know what I'm saying? The richest people, they doing that, bro. They That's 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 their cafeteria. That's you know what I'm saying? Nepotism. It's just they in there vibing together. They figuring that shit out. And, you know, it's only going to help to do it at a lower level, you know, to grow. You know what I mean? So we missed you on some things. Is there anything else like you angry about? Like I, I kind of like the new angry test because he's not angry. He's more just like this hot. Oh man, I'm just you know what? I got my phone. You know what I'm saying, tell, tell me, tell me what, what, tell me what's the thing that's pissing you off? Because I need to know what's, what, 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 what don't you? How do you? Oh, okay, yes. <laughs> well, hold on, because. All right, so this is not okay. This is the point. This is not something that necessarily pissed me off, okay. but this is the point. Mm-hmm. Um, so, get, all right, hold on before you start. Mm-hmm. Give me two point, three points, and then 
we're going to wrap up. Three. three points. Just about anything. I don't care. It could be about music, life, the weather, um, mushrooms. Give me three points. Okay. Um, Starting with the one you were about to. <laughs> so, do I want to start with that? Yeah, hey, start with that. Because it was, it was on your mind. Before I was about to give you the points, you was about to give me that. I like that, Charles. So you might as well give me that and then... Give me your initial thought. But then, yeah. See, now I think I forgot it. No, you didn't. <laughs> it's in your phone. Yeah, you wildin'. I'm looking for something, but I don't know what. Um, I don't know what. This thing is wildin'. Um, so someone Wellington, pissing me off. Mm-hmm. What pissed me off, y'all? No, you said it was pissing me off. You just wanted to make a point about it. Oh. Oh, okay, boom. The yeah. purge law. Right? The in, purge law. In Chicago, that was presented? Yeah, the shit that was presented in Chicago, oh, okay. right? I, I, so, I, briefly, hey, you're going to have to tell me more because I briefly saw it. Okay, okay, okay. For, they, they're not for, locking oh, people up. Okay. I, wanted, I wanted to explain. I wanted to, so from what you've seen, what did it make you feel like? What was going on? That you can commit crimes and not get punished in some sense. Okay. All right, boom. So, how I seen it across my feeds was like, Oh my God! Everybody panic like criminals about to get out and kill everybody, and niggas gonna do this and that, and not gonna get. I thought it was more for like juveniles, like so, like when they do stuff, like um, they won't get charged. Like no, let, let Charles. Like, that's that's what because that's what I when no, I, I hear was say, let Charles continue. Yeah. So. So, you know, it was all this, like, it was, it, looks, it seems scary. Right? No, I definitely seen a few people oh act like she oh was my, about to go. Oh, my God, what's going on in this world? Like, it's about to get crazy out here, right? Then I read. Then I read. Let's, let's just be, let's just, let's just do this right quick. Some things are fundamental, right? Let's just pause. Like, he said, then, then I, I read. read, bro. I need everybody to take a second and appreciate critical thinking. Because you cannot go by what somebody tells you or the sentiment that they give you from something that they experienced. Because you don't know that they experienced it in full, first. You don't know that their perspective is valid, second. And then third, it's your life, bro. Figure that shit out, bro. So I, like third, I read it, I like bro, third the most. And what, it, what, what I get from it, it's, it's a lot of things that can happen with it, right? It's outliers in, in, in when it comes to things like this. Mm-hmm. It's extreme bad, extreme good, different things, loopholes, whatever. But what I get from it is when they say that now they're going to rid of the cash bail, right? You, you commit a crime, certain type of crimes, it was specific about it, but some of them did seem a little bit like, you know what I'm saying? Like, ooh, like crazy crimes for you to just not, not have no bail, whatever. But removing cash bail. At discretion of magistrate or judge, though. Okay. And that's, a, that's another really good... You got to read, right? But think about how many people are locked up or have been locked up and could not get out just because there was a cash bail. Mm-hmm. This sounds like a victory. Yeah. For the poor. What's going on? Why was I scared? Because you were scaring me. Yeah. This sounds like a victory, bro. Yeah. We got um, what's his name? Um, Khalif Browder. Yeah. He got locked up for the backpack, bro. Yeah. He had bail in New York. Yeah. He could not post bail. That boy went to jail for years, got out, and committed suicide because yeah. he, the experience he had. Yeah. Had it been no bail, this thing, this purge law, everybody's scared of, and te- that boy would be alive. Technically, Rikers Island isn't a jail. It's a holding facility. That's true too. It's a long term holding. And facility. yeah, that's fucked up. They got that's that's a fucked up situation, man. But yeah, so that's something that's something that you know read. Oh, you know, what I'm and not just read anything. I, when I say read, I mean like if somebody's giving you context on something, look further into the thing that they're giving you context about. But I'm not putting reading at like a super high regard because nobody forget a nigga wrote it, right? So it's not just reading you smart. It's an interpretation of somebody else. And you're reading some somebody else's words. You don't know that it's fact or fiction. Yeah, right? So discernment is very important. Critical thinking is very important. And um and, and, and I uh, uh um, What are some good things you've read? Oh and, unless you want to give me some more points. And intuition, bro, like you know, go with you, you know that feeling that you get when you feel like something ain't right, it's mm-hmm. not. Any more points you want to give me? That was a good one. I appreciated that one. 
Man, I wish I would have thought about this before this. Okay. Yeah. You know we you know what we like to do. We like to little points. like poke at your at your heart and your soul. The only the best podcast in the world. Any more points? Um Oh man, I wish see my intro. Okay, let me see if I can memorize my intro. So my intro to my album, mm-hmm. I didn't rap. I gave a speech. So I say You only get that here. Pay content for free, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see. We need to get a Patreon. Set it up. <laughs> Inshallah. I love a phone to the, to the microphone. A, a lot of things, and, and, you know what I'm saying, in that. So that was Do more than three ancestors. points. You know what I mean? We're not in this alone. I remember how you felt when when you needed help, when someone helped you. It's some shit on here, man. It's, it's really some shit on there. Yeah, bro, you made me, want to go, you made me have to go to Atlanta, bro. I was busy. Bro. I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I am I'm apologize. But, like, you know, if you do one in, like, closer up north, i come for sure. Yeah, yeah. You know and I saying? thought about it. That's yeah. what I'm saying, bro. I thought about like, it. Like, home base, sure. bro. That's kind of, I'm not going to lie. That's kind of selfish of you. Yeah. No, I said I said I got to do it in Maryland. I said that, like, several months ago. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? So, we'll see. We'll see how that experience um, release plays out. I'm also curious uh, about your travel because you know you told the story about you know AB AB hollered at you so you had to make sure you got back but like Atlanta here or where else is in this New York in this is it just Mm -hmm. the East Coast? Spent some time yeah spent some time in Carolina so I haven't been on the West in a while. Um, I'm part of Carolina. North Carolina. Um, uh, well, I was in Raleigh. I was in two places. I was. I was. Um, what fucking stadium is that? Um, wherever, wherever A and T and Central played each other. Uh, I think the Panther Stadium. So I was in Charlotte at some point, and then I also was in um, Greens. Greensboro? Greensboro. Okay. Yeah. That's where my folk from. Yeah. Okay. Shout out grandma and, man. Yeah, yeah. That was, y'all know Marcus. Yeah. So, yeah, I spent some time with Marcus. He dragged me around to all these clubs and I hated it. Why? Because, uh, it's okay. Oh, shit that makes me mad. <laughs> yes. We don't like clubs either. You cannot talk to people in the club. So so I'm going here. My intentions is I, I want to make the most out of my experiences, right? So that's not the point, Jay. I'm coming here to network. That, no, that, not no. sit here that's with Marcus not, for hours that's, that's not the point while he hosts this event. And I can't even talk to nobody over this loud ass music. Nope, that's not the point here. That's a club. <laughs> the point here is to come here with all these people and isolate yourself or get looked at like you're weird for coming over here. <laughs> and 
Get, keep buying drinks. Welcome and to 2022. That's the club. That's not even 2022, nigga. That's hey, why don't you go? They ain't got no museum. Yeah, I actually did go to a museum right after because I had to cleanse myself. I had to cleanse myself. I'm about to say, well, it's probably a much better experience. Right? Much better experience. I had to go to, literally, I had to go to the museum the next day. When Marcus was looking for me. I'm like, bro, I had to go to the museum, bro. I'm like, I don't know what you about to do. He's like, you ain't coming to the show? I said, no. Nah, can't do the day party. I got to go. I got to get some. Mm. I need to breathe. So, I I, so, what, air, so you know what was it like seeing those people over there? You know, interacting with with the people. Man. People fuck with the hat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, people fuck with the hat. Damn, bro. Charlotte lit though. Now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. Ready. You know. I. You know. Let me know. It's always interesting the to get some more perspective. Overrated. You know what I'm saying? But definitely, club is definitely overrated. Um, I can't believe like James. people sell tables. That's that's <laughs> fucking <laughs> incredible to me. That's incredible to you? Yeah, like not in a good way though. Like I'm in awe. Like, oh wow, like wow, people sell tables. It's a whole industry. It's a whole industry, entire mm-hmm. industry. People go there and buy tables and sit down. And then they charge you. For the yeah, a hundred times <laughs> the bottle yeah. price. It's like, okay, 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 right, right, right. And people buy a table, but they won't buy your album off your website. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Make music art again. Mm-hmm. You think that the table was worth more than what I? Damn, crazy. No, I don't think they think that, but I think mm. for a lot of people, it's a culture thing. Mm. It's an experience. Yeah. Thing. So if I get your buy your album and I take something away from that, I can't post that on the gram. And yeah. even if yes, I, you can. Well, people have done it. That's a fact. When I post it on the gram, it is not going to probably get the same attention or reception that me posting, me being in the club. Like that's just the, and the way I guess it depends on your crowd. For sure, but I would argue like even for you when you when you post turn up, regardless of more people tune in. Like even on my 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 Instagram, like when I'm outside I'm doing stuff, last weekend. when I when I post like important stuff about like what I think is important to the world, people barely watch. Mm-hmm. When I'm doing fucking shit, no yeah. disrespect to that. No, I feel like that's a pun. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. When I'm doing, people people love that shit, and I think I, that's the nature of our functioning society as we know. For this episode, so. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm grateful to have built, I think, a tribe around me that your, your your page is public though, right? Yeah, but see, I think that's and I and I would argue when you're just doing quote unquote fucking shit, see how many more people because. I'm of the mindset that, that that's when people start being like, oh, look at him. Oh, I'm a fuck it. I'm fuck it. I am. I am fuck it. Like, in the person, person personified. No, no, no. I'm talking about more so, like, within the realm of what everyone else is doing. I know what you're talking about. Oh, I'm talking about, like, oh. if, so you was with, see, so you was with Marcus, but you wasn't posting. I bet you if you would have been posting. I was posting. All that content, right? And it was, yeah. I'm sure it was, it was hella people just. No, no it, uh, it was no increase, really. I think, oh, okay. I think my, my crowd was more so, like, like not like, not your crowd. I'm just saying eyes from other people coming to look because I don't know if you go. I never go. Not never. I seldomly go through to see who. I just kind of like, oh, the numbers have increased, and it definitely be on the weekends when oh. I'm out here doing nonsense. It's never on the weekends. It's the content when I'm like, hey, listen, the world is going up in flames. You I think, care. I think it's something. I think it's something. <laughs> it's never getting. It's never getting the views. I, I'm just being honest. It's mixy for mine. I think mm-hmm. when, when it's something that people resonate with, though, you know, they share it. You know what I'm saying? They they when you know what I'm saying it's something okay. that they feel like they they would have said or they thought about. They'll repost it, and then that's how I spread like that. You know. And I, you know, I like that you have a community that you you can feel that, and you can you can. You can digest that and like pick it out and say, "Hey, mm-hmm. this is that, and this is that." That is definitely commendable. Oh, but we did not talk about this. Mm-hmm. I did my first performance ever in life. I actually did want to talk about that because I think you do that. Um, he was with Sweezo, at right? Songbird. Yes, mm-hmm. I did. See wow, that. you didn't even invite us. For, I didn't even. It wasn't even planned. It was, it was like this and that. It uh, wasn't planned, bro. I think the Jones nigga was right up front with y'all and shit. Yeah, that shit look that shit look fire. Yeah. What man. you? How many songs you hit? No, bro. It you didn't was do nothing. All, it was all features. And it was shit. it was next five summers, bro. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you you know and and the thing about that record is I wrote that like I don't know shit now probably three years ago, mm-hmm. but 
Sweezo asked me about it, you know, some of last year or like the top of this year and was like, yo, what you doing with that? And I'm like, oh, man, I don't know yet. I mean, <laughs> you know, you could fuck around. And then, you know, he put a verse on it. I didn't know they fucking went on tour, been doing it. And so then, like, you know, people been saying I come there and everybody knows the song. <laughs> everybody knows the song, bro. It's, and they never see me. This crowd is crazy. So I get there and it's like, they're like, next five songs, everybody jump out in the air. Everybody's just like crazy. And then we hit it and it felt, it felt spiritual. I'm not yeah. going to lie to you. Um, that shit look lit. Yeah. Epic like, first performance, that. five year anniversary for Open Gym. Um, I say I think Sweezo did invite us. William, Independent DM Artist DM Showcase. DM yeah, DM Open DM. Gym is it's fire. December. They got a lot of good artists. December twenty something. They're right? doing the biggest. Yeah, December twenty seventh. I, I mean seventeenth. Yeah. December seventeenth. Yeah. Um, they're doing the biggest joint at the Fillmore. Okay. Shout out to Open Gym. That's a weird yeah. Let's yeah. make some noise. No, we got the mind too because we got the same birthday. Who? Me and you. December tenth. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> when your birthday? The 12th. The 12th. Okay. Close. Yeah. Sag. Mm-hmm. I like it. I like it. Yeah. All right. Well, see, I got to know what you're angry about. What are you happy about? Why do you keep painting it like he's... Right. Like, I just have these emotional <laughs> distress. No. He said he's been right, better. So like, we were talking like, earlier about fine. feelings. Like, can you can you see feelings? Are they tangible? Mm. And I, I broke it down to Charles how I see saw feelings. him... Yeah, even though no action was actually done mm. like I actually saw him look at his wife on his oh. wedding day so and like, I was like you, that's oh, real like so can you that's see that's what love looks like emotions. I have likened it to like breathing so like you can see air you know you know it, you can't see it but if you it's cold outside and you mm-hmm. you see your breath so mm-hmm. you know Air exists. Mm-hmm. It exists because even that is you need to breathe. That is the tangible reflection of it. So even if you don't, even if you're like, you can outside when it's cold and say, "Hey, that is air." For anger, though, I think in like other you know feelings and emotions, kind of hard to say. Hey, I threw this chair, so I you know that would kind of be an easy thing to be like. But you know, maybe niggas don't know how to you know get feel love, so maybe they don't. Maybe they don't have that look. And, you know, maybe a nigga really feels deep down inside. He loves you and he just can't muster up mm. that thing you believe in. So mm-hmm. I wonder, is that something that's tangible or is it just, hey, it is what it is? It to is, you, this, it, is, this is subjective. It is what it is. Mm. Yeah. Got to explain. Um, you know, I think... With something like love specifically, you know what I'm saying? Nobody can tell you whether or not everybody kind of defines it for themselves. You know what I'm saying? Like when you say like, I love this person, nobody, you ain't like, oh, because this, this, mm-hmm. this, this, and this, just it's like between, my mom, when she said she loved somebody, it's not like that. It's between you and this person. That's it. Like whatever that feeling is. And then I even think the line between that and like caring for is like, you know what I'm saying? Like words is like semantics at that point. Cause it's like, people love to hear the word love, but like, I think, having good intention for someone is caring about them is loving them. You know what I'm saying? So I love all y'all. I love that's everybody. Right. Around, <laughs> but see, know? that's, honestly, that's what I'm, I like, I like, because you would probably explain it far better than I could. Mm-hmm. Like, that was, that's how, because it's like, when you talk about these different things, it's very weird to say, hey, this, because it looks different for, like, what I would do for you, 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 it's different. Like, I was telling him the other day, like, I had a family member who passed, and I was like, I felt bad because I didn't feel like my emotions were aligned. Mm-hmm. And he was like, damn. And it was just like, it's but your, like... It's your process of grieving, though. You know, but everyone is different. Like you said, like, that that process is different. Not even just for, like, different... I think relationships in love, but different people. Mm-hmm. So you know, like What's you could a, be in a relationship with say a person, mm-hmm. and I and I hate to be this person, but I had this argument with with the chick on Clubhouse one time. She was like, "You can't be in love with two people." I was like, "That's what's up." I was like, "You got multiple kids, right?" She was like, "Yeah." I was like, "Do you love anyone more than the other?" She was like, "No." And I was like, "Okay." Mm-hmm. I, was, she, I was like, "So you love two people?" She was asked. like, "She was like, it's not the same." I was like, "All right." I was like, "All right." I was like, "All right." What if I asked, "Did you love both your baby fathers?" What's, what's the question? Not, are you in love with or do you love? 
Because well, I mean, I what's, the, and different... what's the difference but between that? Because it the... seems like the only thing is sex. Yeah, with, with women, like literally, with women, that's how they think about it. It's like it's like that's just, what I'm saying. They really like just want to say, don't have sex with nobody else. Well, I think being in love with uh-huh. someone that's and like loving that's... someone is two different things. Depending on sex or not, like okay. Well, then I what? Is, I love I love y'all niggas. Am I in love with y'all niggas? No, that's what two is, different things. What is the feeling of in love then? It probably would equate to sexual relations. You know what I'm yeah, saying? So, that's what he's so, 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 so at that point, that, but to your, the, 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 all I'm saying equation. is to to your point of asking her about loving her two kids, that doesn't make sense to I ask her say, if she's in love with her I two kids say, or not. We're not in love, but like the idea of that you, you love the kids. Love. Love that's the, the key word. The difference between what love you love and in love. Yes, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So I didn't feel that point. That's all I'm saying. Like, I said, can you love two people? But yeah. can you? I thought the question was in and love. You, no. And you're can confirming, you? though. You're confirming that you in love has, has to, to do with sexual, sexual relations. relations. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I that's mean, the point he's making. Because you haven't been in love with anybody who you weren't having sexual relations with. I mean, right? could you do that, though? Well, no, yes. but no, no, no. It's just a level of intimacy. It doesn't mean that you have to have sex with them. Yes. No, it's because the idea of what in love was given to you yes. was in that realm. Yes. So that's why you think about it like that. I thought you were that. No, I was, but yeah. I felt it. Like, I that's, see that's, that's how you think about it from when you hey. got it, the inception of you being indoctrinated yes. to that idea. Yes, yes. Yeah. In, no. love, in love Listen. having to do with sex and sexual relations. I'm not in love girls, with Charles. A lot of girls are under I'm that not in love with Chris. I love Charles. I love Chris. I'm yeah. not in love with these niggas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I you know what I'm saying? Like, I no, I'm not mad at you. Listen, me and Tess kind of say the same thing. No, I think we say I think we're all. I think we're all here. Yeah, I, I think, think we're all here. All, I think he's just agreeing to the fact that yes, it is it, it, sexual. That that that, that, that I don't think it's sexual, sexual though. Okay, then no, you. Well, then, we might not be in the agreement. Yeah, I think yeah. I think, we're, I think you're on the outside. <laughs> you don't think yeah. in love is sexual? I don't think you need to have sex with someone to be it's in love with. It's not about having that's sex. Real? It's about that, no. That's a that's a It's about a sexual. I think. I don't think. I don't. Uh, tension like or sexual uh, tension or feeling, fi- or yeah, feeling. It's, it's, okay, and that's why I say a level of intimacy. Well, that's all part yeah, of it. So, kind of sex. That's why I say we said well, the same sex, thing. Then. Well, yeah, sex is the ultimate. But like, if I don't think Omatic, Omatic is saying I'm not trying to fuck you guys. There's no, there's none of that <laughs> going on here. Yeah, but yeah, I yeah. do really much love y'all. Y'all my homies. I really yeah, care. Yeah, I, yeah, really, I really, I really care about everything y'all got going on. Yeah, and then where's you know the line between in love and just admiration? Because there's people that I admire a lot that I, I mean, because when you say without sex, it's like yeah, like I, I kind of in love with that person that mm-hmm. they are. Mm-hmm. I'm, not you know, so. I'm not in love with none of my niggas. I'll tell you that. We're not talking about us, but <laughs> yeah, I'm just you saying. might be. Which I'm not gonna put out no names, but there might be a, a friend of yours who's not a man and you might be like damn that person is like super dope I love their vibes I'm really in love with people as a person I'm in love with who like you said for a year plus Uh I'm I'm Uh in love with oh it's getting hot in here god damn at the back at the back of the episode just be honest you don't no gotta sense do it. has been involved, but you it's just like, hey, it. you, you know, don't there's a it. level of intimacy that <laughs> she and I share. He's doing. And, and, then, we're good. and then you know you got lust. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. exactly. Right? But the, and then you and then you got where, where are these lines? Then you got appreciation. Like I just appreciate who you are. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? How the the you know maybe you're on time. You know what I'm saying? You keep to, your word. And then we like, go back like to that. obsession. We said that word earlier. Yeah. Obsessed. You could be obsessed from the time. I like infatuated. I like the yeah. I like the word I appreciation. I like infatuated. I like the word appreciation. Because like, infatuated man, is a real thing. thing. I think yeah. I think more people know. I think way more people are infatuated, infatuated with people yeah. than they are in lust or yeah. love. I think infatuation we, goes lust. Though. Do we have to stop this? I don't this? think so. Do we the have opposite to stop sex. this right now? Um, not really. No. Or if we do stop it, we can still keep talking. I mean, yeah, no, no, but no, we no, don't really have to stop it. We don't okay, have to stop. Let's get it. Yeah. The battery is yeah. almost about to die, but I have another one. I have another one. Try it. You, I, you, you, got, you got man, fifteen you to twenty more minutes. You know, yeah, yeah, you got fifteen to twenty for sure. We haven't done a long episode. that like? The idea I might of need the bomb back. all these feelings. Niggas are enjoying this conversation. I, don't, I, I ain't see y'all in a while. Nah, no, for, for sure. For sure. I'm actually sure. glad you hit me up, bro. I don't, I don't you think. You to take a piss? No. More about that. Let me pull up one more time. I don't think the idea of the feelings <laughs> should be defined. Should we. You might be out? Yeah. Uh, should be defined. Let me see one more Eagles. Yeah, facts. Let me see one more guy. Oh, yeah, appreciate it, bro. It shouldn't be defined. It shouldn't be the. De- it shouldn't be uh, hard line defined. You know what I like about you, Jack? What are we talking about? You? You're a variant. Yeah. And and the thing is this. This is the thing. This is the thing. So this is what I. This is what I mean. And this is what are these categories where I don't like really using them like that. 
but we know what we talk about when we say variant. It's like this. Everybody is alike in some way, and everybody is different in some way. For sure. So, you know, however you phrase that half empty, half full, it's like, yeah, no, just like my man. And it's like, well, it's things I can call out that are different. And it's like, man, I ain't nothing like him. And it's things that I can call out that are the same. But when I say a variant, I mean that you are comfortable being in your individual perspective, solid in that, you know what I'm saying? Not, 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 um, not, um, closing people out to their perspective, you know, you open to have a conversation. Oh, I lo- bro, that's what I'm saying. I, lo- I love talking to you because, bro, we don't always have to agree. No. And I very seldom, there was one time you came here, I was like, yo, he might be mad at us. Well, you left. I was like, I think he's mad at us. <laughs> that was mad at y'all. But, but, but that's what I'm saying. But, but then I look back and I said, no, he wasn't mad at us. That's just Tess. He was probably really smacked. He was going, his mind was elsewhere. He wasn't <laughs> mad at us that day. But that's what I'm saying. Like, I never have left a conversation with you feeling like, agreement or not that you are upset with what I said and that's very rare that I find people like I said who don't agree and can still be like okay that's yeah. fine Chuck like I think you're stupid I think what you said <laughs> makes no sense yeah. but I love you Chuck and also you had a lot of other takes that I loved you know what I'm saying? It's not like one thing. Like, people use one thing. Like, nah, I can't fuck with cuz. Like, he said he no. like peanut butter jelly more than this. No. It's like, what? <laughs> listen, once again, I don't have to like all the takes. But, like, listen, if I like this take and I like you, why why shut you out and now make you an exile or something like that? And I think the most important factor in determining, like, you know what I'm saying, whether I can fuck with you or not, if you got, like, a, um, you know, opposite opinion, is if... You have good intention. That's all. If I know you to have good intention, that's the basis. We're just having a conversation. Dialogue is great. You know what I'm saying? We might bring up something we never brought up before. And now we just opened up a window for us to expand and create a better future for the next people and so on and so forth. But, yeah, man. Um, Listen, that's what I'm saying. I, I, I fuck with the ability to, like I said, Truly, not debate, but disagree. Because I think debate is frivolous. I think trying to prove who's right or wrong in a world where everything is first mostly subjective and then the rest of it is fake. Like, people just decide this shit on a whim. Yeah, people's feelings are very much fleeting. And, and decisive in things like policy and laws yeah, that govern right. how we live. Mm-hmm. Like you said, someone wrote this. I love what you said. He was like, even if someone... Remember, someone wrote it. Bro, I love... When mm-hmm. you said that, it was like, bro. Regardless, I bro. I fucking love that. Because, bro, no matter what we try to stamp as, our, it's someone's me, perspective we, on we, something. Because me and Charles would be, be in the middle of a debate, and he'll be like... And then, like, we'll both, or either of us, will say, it'll be like, but this is someone else's talk. Like, someone else said this. Can I stamp their truth, bro? Yeah. I think... I think being... Is greater than knowing. If if I you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. when you asking for my three points, that's one of my most important things. I think I, I might even get that tatted on, on me. And that's why you were big on experience when you was talking about it early, and you said it on your uh, Instagram story too. But the only thing I would take, only thing I would, I would I like caveat, that. only thing I would caveat from that is that, like that a lot. your experience is true to you, yeah, and you because like. One thing I do like about you is that you would go, you're like, people talk about hustle and all that stuff, but that's something I think that's true to you. Like, mm-hmm. that whole AB story you took, that's right, about that's something, hustle. that's somebody who just wanted something and thought X, Y, Z, and I'm going to find a way to go get it. It's not like you, mm-hmm. the uh, T. I'm going to find a way to go get it. A like, lot of people don't got that in like That's you, just the truth. You went the extra mile. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people like, don't got that in And that's hustle. Because like you was like, yeah. I'm like, looking at another nigga's story, story, putting it together. Like, most niggas would be satisfied that they gave AB a yeah, hat. Exactly. You was like, nah. Like, I need to do I need to connect with AB to let him know. I want to know if he actually fucked with no, my hat. Because the people like, told me he fucked with yeah. So I'm like, I got to talk yeah. to him then. They telling he, he wouldn't take next, it off. But as much as you think it's just part of it, that's next That's That's next level, That's a certain level of... Determination and want, but guess what? This how simple it is, though, y'all. Literally, you think about okay, I got this done. What if I can get this done? Go for it. The worst thing that could have happened is I got there, he ghosted me. I already thought about that. 
Yeah. I already thought about it. I already mourned that that idea. I'm like, okay, boom, I get there, he goes me, fuck it. I almost had the shot. Had I not shown up, you miss every shot that you don't take, right? Yeah, that's, true. that's what Joe said. And I would have just did something else, bro. I'm in New York. What the fuck? I just got there and said nighttime was up. I would have just did something else. Like you either you can you can make you can always make a situation better. Mm-hmm. Will it be the best? I don't know. But you can make it that's better. You. you know. I might have missed that earlier. I would really love it, man. Did you already talk about how he was the first man that wore the fucking hat? He, yeah. I, I, wasn't, I, wasn't, I don't think Mook was the first person. I was no, the no, first. no, no. He brought it down. He wasn't the first person, but he was definitely one of the first people. Yeah. For sure. No, we talking I'm, about him wearing the... Okay. the for yeah, sure. I was gone. Probably, I was probably gone. one of the first 10 people to ever wear fucking yeah. probably was. I said yeah. that. I was like, damn, nigga, you wore the first. Because I just know he was like, he took pictures of me in the yeah, gym. Yeah. And I was just it was like, a sample. I think it was yeah. satin. The material was different, yeah. wasn't it? It was, like it was a pink blue satin jump. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah I feel like you maybe had another hat. Yeah, maybe it was blue. Blue. Navy blue. It was a blue and a pink joint. It was a two of them. The pink joint was the set. Different material. The pink joint is the one I put on. He took the picture. Yeah, I remember you flipped the brim up. Yeah. Yeah. We got pictures too. Yeah, man. Yeah, no, that definitely was one of the samples. We can drop it now. We can drop the picture now. Uh, yeah, send it to me first. Send it to me. Send it to me first. I honestly got signed. Yeah, know. send it to me first. And then... um, I've yeah. never seen the picture. Okay. He got mm-hmm. it. <laughs> but yeah, man. Um, I mean, what's, what else? What's been going on, man? What's fucked up in the world for y'all? Um, Actually, I'm in a good space. Like, I've been... Like, the same way you said, like, trying to tune out. I've been trying to consume much less of just everything. And just be, right? Yeah, I mean, the thing about it is that the times you're living in, you really can't call it. Like you said, you can't call any of it. It's all, it's really all up for... For grabs, right? Yeah. So, for me, there's a certain, um, there's a certain peace in knowing that you can't control certain shit. Mm-hmm. You gotta come to terms with that. So, um, I hate to say this, but like, with death in particular, it's something like, I've talked to like, in particular, my father about, and... I feel like more of those conversations, because he's 70. Yeah, he's 70. And he was talking about, like, I'm kind of getting, like, okay with, like, it just ending. And I was just like, damn. He was like, yeah, you know, like, I've lived my life. and Y'all good? Y'all straight? He was like, all my kids are good. He was like, I mean, anything y'all... So I'm, 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 nah, he made, like, he accomplished his goal in life. He was right? like, anything that man, y'all kids will need, me, I have it, you know, I have things set in mm-hmm. place for that, so I don't have to worry. And I was just like, damn, like, there's a certain... Com- and it's and it's not like a scared, like, it's, oh, I don't... No, it's, it's peace. And I... I've been taking, like, a lot of those conversations to account, like, how does that take to my... Because I don't... You're going to reach that peace a lot sooner. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking to myself, like, damn, I I hope, like, I don't... No disrespect to him. I hope I don't have to be 70 and being, like, now I'm... Like, I want to be able to be in, like... Shit, next year, you know, God willing, next year be like, man, you know, like that's when you get to it, though. For sure, but I would just tell you for for the life I've lived to be like, damn, you know, like. Hey, we've done it. Like, you know, like, this is what... Because there's a certain idea of having to wait for your peace and your tranquility when I'm like, why not experience that here? No, that's why not enjoy it while I have it here. And you talk about, like, that idea of, like, um, you know, you going to the afterlife and Mm -hmm. it being this blissful experience. For sure. saying that, bro. I was trying to say... It's not about this being it. But it's about, like... Why suffer? Because people legitimately be suffering here. No, and no, no, and and for some people it is. For some people it is suffering, right? But and and I mean, in moments, I think at points of time we go through suffering. Everyone will go through. At points of time we go through heaven. For sure, you know what I'm saying? That's what life is. But but I'm trying to make the more more good, more more soft life, more heaven life days than suffering. One hundred percent. And that's all I'm trying to like. That's all I'm saying. I'm just trying to put myself in the best position to do that. And this is all you can control because all the other stuff that everybody talk about happening. Exactly. Nobody get to tell it after they do it. That's all. That's all I keep saying. Nobody get to tell it after they do it. We we can't. You know what? I had. I haven't had no one yes come back and tell me, yo, I did a bit in hell, I did a bit of heaven. Yeah. I have not had, I've heard people tell me, hey, I've seen the light. I've had all that. Yeah. And I yeah. and I respect it. But I haven't had no one tell me, yo, 
I went to heaven. Yeah. Or I went to heaven. Ain't and this no is coming back from that. Yeah, exactly. So and we don't know what that look like. And, and they'll go back to niggas saying channel. shit and niggas writing so shit. For and me, it. So for me, there's a certain peace and tranquility in knowing that, hey, I'm going to leave that for when it's here and for the greater powers that are not. But I know for a fact me. that this ain't it. And, and that's why I we'll know never that see contentment there or are decisions that I can make here and now to enjoy this to the fullest. Things are fleeting, bro. And we're going to enjoy it to the fullest. Yeah. That's, no, all, that's, that's, the, that's the best way to do it. That's all I'm saying. Like, you said something about, um, you said, you, were you realizing that um, it's things that are out of your control? Mm-hmm. The flip side of that is also realizing how many things are in, in your control. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and that's my point about decision making. There's so many things that I can actively decide, hey, I'm going to do X, Y, and Z. For sure. Like, I'm yeah. going to wake up at X amount at this more and do this because it is in my control to be productive as whatever I see myself. For sure. Nobody, I ain't got to do anything with nobody else. Hey, if I want to, hey, I'm going to, I'm going to drink mm-hmm. water, whatever that I believe is in the thing for me, I will do. I got a gem, a love. jewel that I got from college, mm. right? Just one. Not just one. I got more than one, but I'm saying like I feel that one. this. This and this is like something that I should I didn't have to pay for. And this nigga could have said this outside of my college, but anyway, at my actually at my graduation, the nigga says, went to the head. "If it's somebody, he said, if it's something that I want to get done, I may not know that person, but it's very likely that I know the person who knows the person." Who knows the person? Yeah. And however long that goes, or however short it is. Six degrees of separation. That separation. And that's so key, bro. You just gotta put it out, bro. It's no we so this is the thing. We are sheltered in a way, and you know, our egos a lot of times getting away from us reaching out to each other, right? Mm. About things that we just made, you don't never know. My thing is, it could be a no, bro, but you don't know, bro. It might be something like like you might send it out to 20 people like yeah man I'm just looking for a this and that I don't know like if anybody know anything just let me know and I might be like bro just yesterday I got the thing that you're talking about you need here it is it could be that simple I mean it's not, that's been happening up with us lately though it's a beautiful thing B being is greater than knowing knowing I like that that's that's a bar. I think that's that's you you you. you I think you might have given us an album, uh, uh, show title, episode title. I'm yes. a, I'm a, yeah. Is this has been fun? I just be tying my camera and trusting in Allah, cause. This was a good thing. Res- only thing I'm responsible of is tying that camera. The part that you can control. What do you um, before we step out of here? Because we've had we've had we've had a fun conversation today. The Bombay, I think, and uh, Not the Bombay, let the inhibitions, man. you know, yeah. let them go. I don't know the devil's lettuce helped as well. <laughs> before we leave, um, what are some of the things that you? You want the people, because I always ask you this before we leave, but I'm not going to ask you the same, because I always ask you, what are you going to tell the people? Da, da, da. But I want to ask you at this time. I want to ask you, before you leave, what does Tess feel about where Tess is at this moment right now? How does Tess feel about how he sees himself and the world? Because you talk a lot about how that album made you feel like you were free. I feel like... Um I feel like I've entered my prime. Mm, I um, one of them. I, yeah, I feel like I've entered my prime. You know, so I'm not, not knowing how long it's gonna last. You know what I mean? And also, um, people have multiple primes. Shout out J Lo. You know, different mediums you working in and stuff like that. But um, I feel like I've entered my prime. Um, I'm at a place where I am in need of more resources. To be able to create at a larger scale, um, you know, I think my ideas have outgrown my resources. I like that. I haven't heard that before, but I like that concept. Yeah, um, I'm sure I have, but not put in the way. You've been very elegant with your with your word structure today. I will, I will definitely say. Nigga, yeah, I try to be as 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 clear as possible. 
Um, yeah, man, if we don't stick together, we fucked. Make music art again. Um, you know, um, I think um, being is greater than knowing. Um, <coughs> Bombay went down the wrong pipe. Somehow. You know, always, Somehow. Lead, always lead with good intention. <coughs> that sounds like one of them calls. Black and white is stupid. Um, Got the points off, boy. Yeah, man, and um, treat you know treat others how you want to be treated, man. For real, for real though, for real though. Oh, okay. I think I got something to say about drill music. Okay. Yeah, drill music. So, oh man, like um, this is interesting. We was having this conversation um when you know we we had a trip um and one of my guys he likes to listen to music during his trips like you know the whole time through. You talking about trip as in you know, mushrooms, okay. psychedelics, yeah. Gotcha. Um, was just, playing, had to, just had to clarify for the listeners. Yeah, playing a lot of uh, drill music. Drill music while you're tripping? That's crazy. Yeah. And, okay, and listen, drill, drill, drill in the sense of, okay, NBA Young Boy. I'm considering that drill. That's drill? Uh, yeah, you're talking about killing people. Okay. So anything, anything where you keep talking about killing people, like I, I just consider that drill, me personally. I understand that there's a certain production mm-hmm. that goes with drill in different cities. Okay. Uh, yeah, I understand that. But when I no, talk no, no. about once you said that, like once you understood your, once you elaborated on your definition of drill music, I was like, okay, I got you. Now. Yeah. So like, well, you know, I, listen, I personally don't listen to Young Boy. Okay. Yeah, and I think I think he's a good artist. You know, what I'm saying I think he's a great artist. Honestly, I think he, you know, what he's doing is not normal, right? But with the context, right, and in and, and, and the words, the messaging that I'm hearing, like, you know, I was like, I was telling him, he was like, I see, it looked like you in deep thought and like, you're not just vibing. And I'm like, yeah, that's because I'm listening to the words. You know what I mean? It's a lot of darkness, bro. And mm-hmm. it's like, this is like what's popular music. Mm-hmm. And even the most, with- The most streamed and most watched music on YouTube. On YouTube. On YouTube. And then even specifically like, um, you know, our area. And I'm not trying to put nobody oh, yeah, down, bro. Like I want high. people to thrive. We're I want everybody who's trying to express when, themselves yeah. creatively or put their family in a different position to be able to do so, right? Now, I do favor the people who are intending to create art more than just using it to get rich. I do favor the people the art on the art side more. But change your family life, bro. However you got to do it, do it. Now... Integrity, right? Integrity, um, uh, a certain level of, of like um, respect, and there's a test to your morals on what you say out your mouth, right? And what you put out to the world that's gonna be there forever, right? So when I think about everybody smoking on this person mm. and calling out all these names. And going to people grave sites and doing this and on the songs they call they calling it scoring Killing and like your ops and mother at your ops grave site. You know what I mean? Like all of this stuff is not good. Like right? you already got him, but now I need your mother. And it's a never ending cycle. Like how does that help your family? On some real shit. I so so the rappers are trying to escape the life by rapping about the life. That they are living or were living. Or just to. Or just to currently. Like this just happened like reality rap. And I appreciate reality rap, right? But not at the expense of yourself. I'm speaking about my entire life, but nothing that's going to incriminate me. Or other. Or somebody else. Right? So that's what we got to think about. It's like, it, clout ain't worth that much. Right? Clout is not worth your life, your friends, your family's life. That's not, cloud is not worth that. So, being edgy and doing anything is different. You know what I mean? You can be edgy without, with respect. You know what I mean? And and, and, in regards to a lot of things you can be edgy about. Like, you know, some people will consider me edgy. You know what I'm saying? I have hot takes on certain shit. But it's things that are valid. It's not just crash dummy, like, being wild. It's It's a conversation started that is, whether you like it or not, I think it's worth having. And, and I just in think some sense. my op is different, bro. It's micro and you it's macro. It, you said it in the intro. I said it in the intro. It's micro and it's macro. 
Your op is across the street. <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. My op is finish. the reason why we're doing anything we don't want to be doing today. Anything that doesn't make you feel free, anything that doesn't make you feel happy, the, the state that you want to be in, mm-hmm. there shouldn't be a reason why we're doing anything that is outside of that, bro. I agree. So, whatever we got to do to cultivate that experience, you want more of it. I want more of it. Whoever's doing that, I'm in support of that. I mean, I mean, you know that. Good intention. If that's that new era, if that's that new era, that means that. That's that racism? No. If, that, if, that, if that's that artist's music, music is art, I need that. I want yeah. that. Yeah, bro. Right, man. Listen, we could be here fucking around. We'd be here until midnight talking about life and shit. Um, Ted, before you leave, um, tell about the fucking hat. Because that's I, I feel like that's what we're here for. Talk about the fucking hat. Tell me one more time before you leave about the fucking hat. Okay, um, yeah, um, the fucking hat is a product of Moy Museum. Um, you can follow Moy Museum on Instagram, M O Y M U S E U M, um, and then it's fuckinghat.com to purchase. A lot of the colors are sold out, so you can pre order. Um, now, this is also a good thing, you know what I mean? Um, please, you know what I'm saying, do what you can to support. Original ideas, um, you know, a hundred dollars is a hundred dollars even. Um, Free shipping and handling. And it's worth it. Yep. Free shipping and handling. Yep, hundred dollars even. That's it. That's all right. And um, you no. know, it's 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 no tax or interest. Real people Muslim people more. pay a lot more for a lot less, and when I say a lot less, I mean. Um, the experience and the quality of the product, you know what I mean? Like, um, this is something that has gotten people into fashion shows that they weren't supposed to be in. Literally, somebody called me and told me they got into a fashion show for having the hat on in New York during fashion week. This is something that somebody is calling the perfect icebreaker. You know, they walk into a place and people just come up to them and talk about it. They want to know where they got it from. It's not a regular thing. This is an innovation, you know, in the same way that um, I liken it to, I liken the, just the way I liken 725 to Pyrex and if we want to sit together, we fuck to Off-White. I liken the fucking hat to Salehi's um, chain reaction Versace sneaker, right? Wow. He didn't invent the sneaker. Okay. But he reinvented the sneaker, right? And he made people pay attention to a different element of that sneaker and put more emphasis on that soul. I was about to say the soul. Nobody had done or approached it in this way. Pay homage to the Cuban link. Before. And, 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 you know, put so much um, intention and attention on form, Mm -hmm. right? So, you know, I, I got the patent for this, for this design. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's, 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 it's an invention. You know what I mean? That's hard. So, That's hard. I think I, I want people to support it as if it's, you know what I'm it's, saying? It's, such, you know, it's art. It's revolutionary. Whether you wear it or not, you know, put it in your put it in your house. This is history. It's the first of its kind. As Americans would like to say, black history. Black history, right? I love it. I love so, it. you know, I mean, you know, I'm not, I can't make light of it. I'm not, it's, it sounds like, you know, a lot of people promote their products. You know, they got a product and they talk about it, but I cannot lie to you. I can't go anywhere without somebody saying something about it. That's a fact. That's a so fact. when I say it's a hit record, I mean it. You got any fucking hats on you? I do. I have a few in the car. I can sell you for the hat right now? Yeah. All right, but let's make it happen. Yeah. All right, yeah. Where? What color you getting? Oh, see, that's the thing. You got to let me know what he got. Just, I got, um, I got yellow right now, which I think is, you know, okay. one of my favorites. Um, I got... Like it's like a soft purple, kind of like lavender color in there. Oh, well, I like lavender. Yeah, and then I got a, uh, it's like a salmon. Yeah, I'm like a so lavender. A pink. So we're gonna talk. Listen, yeah. get your fucking hat at where? Fuckinghat.com. I mean, I'm pretty sure we. we Fuckinghat.com. I'm gonna get a fucking hat. You gonna see me wearing the fucking hat? <laughs> I'm wearing the fucking hat. My cowboy hat for the rest of 2022. I said we gonna pre-order. 
Yeah, 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 for, yeah, for, for, um, if we was to put if we was to put an order in, I'm just saying like one of us three. Mm-hmm. We on pre order. Depending on what color you get. Okay. Yeah. Depending on what color you get. Um. But yeah, it's several of them are for pre order at this time. Um. Yeah. I'm, you know. I'm. I want to grow the company. Um. Moy, Moy is the company. Mm-hmm. Um. The fucking M-O-Y. hat is just the first M O Y. Yeah. Okay. The first product is just the fucking hat. But M O Y. All right, man. Listen. Yeah. Get the fucking hat, bro. You know the fucking vibes. Yeah, man. You I, see the f- and, and and I mean, like, you know, it's. It's crazy that it's actually a product that literally raises people's self esteem after they experience having it on from the reaction they get from having it on. So it's like you almost become like you know that people are gonna, you know what I'm saying, uplift you when you got it on. And and you know, I'm. It's the I'm, only garment that you do not make. It makes you. <laughs> right, right. It's got, got clothes that get compliments. Man, we'll be trying to get a slogan there for sure. I love it. Yeah. And it's not a bucket hat, it's hey, a fucking hat. That one bar might be hit. Hey. You know what I'm get your residuals, nigga. I ain't mad at yeah. you. Charlie right, says, what they say, generational but, wealth. I love mm-hmm. it. This is a great, honestly, this is good shit, bro. I'm gonna get a fucking hat. You sold me on the fucking hat, I'm gonna lie. I was like, hmm. But I like it now. <laughs> I don't, I also want to say we came up with the fuck it in the basement, but it was just like, you did think, you have you a name made it for it? You think no, made I don't think I came up with it at all. <laughs> I said we, because I don't think Tess had a name for it yet. Um, I, I, I don't remember, honestly, I don't remember. I don't remember, yeah. I don't remember in that span of time, like, when like, I had I, the name. I, no, 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 I, no, 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 I no, 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 I do not want credit no, for the name at all. He's not saying that, he's not saying that. I do not want credit for the name at all. He's not saying that. That's all Tess. He said we. He said we. No, 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 no. I do remember being some, like, I got these hats, you know what I'm saying, I'm about to try them out. Here's the here's the sample of these. I don't know if there was a name yet. Yeah, it, 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 it might have been. It might have been I don't know if we can stamp that. that. Nigga said, "Fuck it." Yeah. No, I definitely don't oh, think man. we stamped no, no, no. it. But it was definitely like a like you said, a sample and a, yeah, a conception it, at that. That's point. it. It might have yeah. been one of the things where I had wrote it down and didn't know if I wanted to go with it yet. Right, right. You know, but. I don't know, yeah. I, I can't confirm or deny that. Yeah, yeah. I like it. I, I know like we it. didn't come up with it in the basement. Well, for sure. I will never take credit for this young man's pattern. I don't, I don't, I don't think you can. <laughs> no, we definitely couldn't. <laughs> Legally. The pattern is there. Legally. <laughs> Times. It's a pleasure as always. No, but literally, bro, like, over these past few years, like, you know, just me we doing these jobs. Documented job, our like, growth. Documented a lot of growth, bro. Sure. There's a lot of IP here, bro, like, it's history, bro. In the same way, like, but the the guys came back, Cootie and yeah, with yeah. the Kanye shit. Like, it's a lot of IP there, bro. Like, and you know, it may not have like a million views now, but we can recognize the value for sure. Oh, what's that? Right? Brother, brother. I say that all the time. Nah, you know, I replay value. It's crazy. I gotta. I gotta. This is. And it's, it's fake document. I replay value. Just finish right. before. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Let's do these drops and then you can continue talking. Right. That point, it could have been a good point. Never mind. Go ahead. Go oh, ahead. Go ahead. It was an actual question. Oh, yeah, bro, so it it's mad late. But like, you talked about. Bro, I don't care. You talk, here, no, bro. you care, bro. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. But no, so you talked about um, the last episodes or something we had. I remember one of them jumps you had on a bucket hat, right? So when you wore Did said bucket yeah, you had yeah. the Louis Vuitton jump on. Oh, right, right, right. So, oh, did you just... I, so, I don't like Bucket Hat. I don't like Bucket Hat personally. Hardy? No, it's uh, Louis Vuitton. Definitely Louis Vuitton was white and they had all the, all the, the colors, colors on it. Yeah. Touché, touché. So, did you like take the, you know, how that shit fit and how it felt and it's like, no, I kind of want my hat to feel a certain type of way. Obviously, mm-hmm. you got your own hat now. So, it's just like, did that not feel right? He was like, yo, let me tailor nah. this hat to... How I wanted to feel type shit. Nah, I say um, you know, I just wanted to. I would, with anything I do, I want to add value, right? So I just wanted to create something new. You know, I think um, you know, it's that saying, everything under the sun has already been done. And my saying is, we operate in the space above the sun, right? So we're trying to make new things right. that haven't been experienced. So I, you know. I feel like I was successful in that. I wouldn't say that, you know, the other hats had anything to do with, like, me trying to make mine, but I will say that I've had a problem wearing bucket hats mm. since 
creating the fucking anime. Right. You know what I mean? Like, I, it just don't feel right. And it's honestly like they don't have the same impact. They really don't. And, you know, no funny shit. Like, I, yeah, there's no uh, bu- bucket hat I can put on that's going to have the impact that the fucking hat has. Feel it. Yeah. Shout out to the pleats. Yeah, man. Shout out to the pleats.